Welcome back to Like a Dragon Ishin. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying this one. Alright, there we go. Uh, just trying to think. Okay, we got health. Yeah, I mean, I did a lot of minigame and side quest stuff last time, so let's just go do main quest thing. Why, why is this corner always just messed up? Honestly. I still haven't found a place to craft clothing. <laughs> really? That's all that did? Okay, well... I don't know, man, like, I just feel like... Maybe this was done on purpose, but... The sword just... It's always... Felt mediocre in these games, even in the other ones, it's just... That's why I never used weapons, I always just resorted to fists. But admittedly, guns in this one does seem to have some kind of an impact. Um... Excuse me, a novel technique to place the mandarin in the mouth of an enemy, then make fresh orange juice. What the fuck do you mean? What? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to gain that ability. What do you- what do you mean? I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting. Like, I'm sure it's exactly what it's describing. Okay. Yeah, I mean... I got one orb per... thing. Increases the speed with faster attacks and keep combos going longer. What does going this way do? about here. Wield a spear. No, I'm going that way. It's got health. In fact, I'm going to use the orb to get that health. There we go. I think the tankier I become, the better this is going to be overall. Is this because I- no, but that's an orange, though. I don't know. I honestly have no idea where that attack came from. I did look after the doggo before I did the karaoke thing last time, so I don't think I need to go take care of the doggo. I think I have to progress the main story a bit, because I don't think there's any side quests right now. 
I think I know why the sword is kind of lackluster. I think I just have to upgrade the sword. Should probably look into that. Whereas then look at the fist. I don't have to do anything. It's just... I got what I paid for. <laughs> look at the upgrades. Damn it. Can we do the Jojo finisher? There you go. Are you kidding me? I just finished fighting you. Hold on. Yeah, first. Sign in. Oh, man. I've never had eel before. It's something you get at Japanese restaurants here. I've heard it's good. It's just one of those things that I, I, I just haven't had the guts to try. Wah. Hmm? That's enough. How many times have I told you to quit being so picky? But mom, veggies! No selfish children allowed in my house. If you're going to do whatever you wish, then stay out! Ah, no, no, wait! But, but mom, veggies! <laughs> I guess vegetables are the enemy of children in all ages. I couldn't stand them back then myself either. Veggies! I just... I just want to eat veggies. Wait, he wants veggies? I want veggies! Just some veggies! Come on, buddy. Buck up. Are you really that much of a veggie fan? Huh? <laughs> yeah, they're my favorite. Gotta say, I don't think I ever met another kid who said vegetables were their favorite. Really? Well, it's true. Not my mom, though. She hates them. We always have to eat tofu with everything. Hmm. Rather strange mom you got there. Anytime I say I want vegetables, my mom says no. <laughs> I, I just want to eat veggies. Every day it's tofu, tofu, tofu. I'm sick of it. Hmm. Yeah, with a diet like that, no wonder the kid's craving vegetables. So that's why I've made up my mind. Hmm? I'm gonna run away from home. You're running away? Yeah. I'm going to another town far away and live with some veggie-loving family. I mean, I know I wouldn't want tofu every day either, but... Aren't you a bit young to be leaving home for good? If I don't run away, I'll never get to eat any veggies. Hey, would you give me some? You want me to give you vegetables? Yeah, otherwise I think I might have to run away for real. This kid's talking like he's serious, and he's definitely too young to be on his own. I guess I could give him some leftovers from my place. Alright, since it's for your health, I don't mind sharing. What? Really? Yay! But you have to make a deal with me first. If I give you vegetables, you have to promise not to run away from home. Got it? Got it. If I get veggies, no running away. I promise. Hey, mister. Hey there. 
Haven't run away yet, have you? Nope, I kept my promise. <laughs> Good to hear. But I'm starting to crave veggies again. Alright, shut the fuck up here. Yeah. <laughs> Just stick a potato in his mouth. Look at him, Daikon. I have plenty of those. Does this look good to you? Ooh, one of my favorites. Veggie time! Ugh, that sound. Thanks a bunch, mister. Was it good? Yeah, so good. I want to keep eating, but I gotta eat at home too, so I should stop now. Smart move. Thanks again, mister. Okay. I want to drink this tea, but like, I'm afraid it's going to burn me. It's still very hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Is this a downside to this thing? Like, is this good for people that enjoy just extremely hot tea? This thing would be really good if the temperature got super cold in Australia, <laughs> but as it stands right now, even though it is winter, it's, it's really not that cold. Is that Doggo? No, it's a different Doggo. Please forgive us. Damn you, straight right there. What? Okay, well now we have to check that out. Peasant hag like you isn't even fit to breathe near me. And it seems she has no intent to apologize either. Even more unforgivable. Please, my wife lives with a heart so broken she cannot speak. She was just trying to water the flowers. Please show us mercy, please. Shut up with the excuses. Speak. <laughs> How cold is that? Uh, it's 54 Fahrenheit. 12 Celsius. Kazukichi, down! <gasps> Disgusting mutt, get away from me! Did he just attack the dot? No, this can't be happening! Okay, it's still alive. That's what happens to those who defy me. Now your turn. Ursi, Ursi. Ah. Ha! Stop. Who are you? Don't tell me you're here to try and play hero. I'll be a hero for anybody who's being abused. Look at you. You're no warrior. You're lower than that dog. The fuck? You think you can get away with insulting me? I'll impale you first, then. Murder him, if you insist. Good enough? Dude, whenever I put the, the thermos to go drink, I don't know why, but I just have this feeling like I'm afraid to drink out of it, because I can't tell... I can't gauge the temperature, because the outside of it is, is room temperature. It's like as if there's nothing in it. But then there's obviously steam coming out of it, so like I'm afraid... Yeah. <laughs> what a weird thing. 
It is definitely too hot to just, like, drink a bunch of it. Like, small sips is correct. Yes, we're fine, but... Yeah, I, I'm waiting to drink... Oh, no, please. I wish I'd been there just a little earlier. No, no, you helped us immensely. Thank you. Kazukichi. Kazukichi. Sweetie pie. She's asleep, just exhausted from crying, I think. Still in shock that Kazukichi is gone. Oh man, the dude murdered the doggo. I'm sorry you had to see all that. Don't be sorry. This is to be expected when someone loses family. Yes, especially since now they've killed him twice. Twice? Yes. See, we had a son named Kazukichi. Oh fuck, this is depressing. He was such a kind boy. Not the brightest, but he had a huge heart. And that's more important. I remember when the three of us lived in Edo. My wife talked a lot more back then. But ever since our son was slain right in front of us, I just don't know if she's ever truly recovered from the grief. See, one day our son happened to offend a Joshi. He always was a naive boy. And ever since he passed, my wife hasn't been able to talk about anything else. Um, so sorry, sir. You were devastated and got this dog thinking it would fill the void in our hearts, even just a little. We named him after our son. Ah, uh, so that's why the dog has the same name. Yes. There was so much about him that reminded us of our son. His friendly eyes, affectionate nature, he even had the same yawn. We cared for that pup like he was our dead son. We loved him so, so much. And now, this. It's almost too much. Sir. So, the whole reason we moved here was I thought some fresh scenery could help heal my wife's heart. I never thought this would happen. But at least you saved our lives. Would you honor me with your name? My name's Saito. I want to thank you properly, Saito son. We owe you a great debt. Double worship talisman. If it hadn't been for you, we would not be here to keep our son's memory alive. Your loyal dog deserves most of the credit. He held them off until I made it here. Let's give thanks to Kazukichi. You're yeah, right, he was such a good boy. Just like our son. Give him the burial he deserves. We will cremate him and bury his bones. The only question is where. We only just moved here, so we don't know the lay of the land. Jeez! Came out of nowhere. Hmm? Honey, you should be sleeping. Hmm? What's wrong? Mm. Oh, I understand. Kazukichi loved cherry blossoms. When they were in season, he would run from tree to tree so happy. We'd like for him to rest peace peacefully under a cherry blossom tree. Do you know if there's any nearby, Saito-san? A cherry blossom tree, huh? I don't know of any, but I'll tell you if I find one. I don't mean to burden you, but thank you again for everything. This is like the saddest sub-story I've ever seen in this franchise. Um... Alright, I'm gonna go look for this thing. Wait, is this... Oh no, see, that's the way in. I did not think that was going to happen. <laughs> I, just, I just thought I was there to beat the crap out of some guy. He got off easy. Unless it's... Hmm. You know what, let's just... We'll have a look around town. Excuse me, Samurai-san. 
Hmm? You. Have you seen Ibisu Sama around here? What? Ibisu Sama? Yes, uh, I can't find the bastard anywhere. You're asking if I've seen Ibisu, the patron deity of wealth and fishermen here in Rakanai? Yeah. Don't be smart, I'm obviously not talking about a god. I mean the con man, Dark Ibisu. There's a con man around here? You haven't heard of him? He's been on a tear lately, mostly targeting seniors. Sorry, news to me. Yeah. Yes, well, Dark Ibisu goes around dressed like one of the seven lucky gods, hence the name. Focusing to eat it up. Just today he scammed 30 rio of some old man who wanted his blessing. That's low. I have to catch him before he takes advantage of anyone else. Thing is, he's cautious. He knows how to make himself scarce when there's a Doshin around. I see, so that's why you're asking citizens for information. Exactly. Do the city a favor and keep an eye out. Let us know immediately if you spot him. What is going on in the background there? A con artist exploiting the elderly by dressing up as the god Ibisu. What a scum. There's a lot of foot traffic in Shijo Street. Maybe someone has seen them there. Yeah. In in the background, look. There's a dude bowing his head to a cat. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what? What do you want? What do you want? Okay, that's not just a background thing. This, this. Are you kidding me? Oi, look at that fancy sword you got there. <laughs> Pricey ones are usually shit in a fight, but that looks like it might be sharp. Yeah, so we're talking about you. How about you hand over the katana before I give you mine? Straight into gut, that is. <laughs> Why am I reading like this? Dying on an empty street, pissing on. Your fun doshi's no way to end your life, is it? You three are almost too tiresome to be worth dealing with. What in the- what is that? What in the- ENOUGH OF THE BRAGA- Oh wait, this is- this is not a villain. ENOUGH OF THE BRAGADO- it BRAGADOSH- bra BRAGADOSHIO? BRAGADOCHIO? BRAGADOCIO. That's, is that really okay? You know what? I'm throwing this into Google. What the fuck is that word? <laughs> I want to find out what country is responsible for that word. Apparently, boastful or arrogant behavior. Where did it come from? Am I even pronouncing it correctly? Okay. Braggadocio. Braggadocio. That's how you say it. Americans? Braggadocio. Okay. <laughs> wow. Word, word of the day, clearly. It's a, it's a real fucking word. It's not slang. I mean, bravado? Like... Whatever. Ah, who are you? 
He's gonna get dead, buddy. Not just hurt. No. I meant you, not him. Huh? If you boys want to play with your swords, do it elsewhere. The sight of you is dirtying my dojo's fine exterior. Dojo, wait. Does that mean... <laughs> you run this place? Swordsman Ginryu? Indeed, I am Ginryu. And you won't get another word from me unless you're willing to lay down your life in combat. Boy, this guy's bad news, I heard. Shit. We'll leave you, but you. I won't forget your face, pal. Braggadocio. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> and so the wind carries off your rubbish. And to think those Ronin will not even spare me some gratitude for saving their lives today. Who are you? As you must have heard, my name is Ginryu. I offer instruction in the swords... The art of swordsmanship here. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. By the by, you are no ordinary samurai, are you? <laughs> Whispers have found my ears recently, telling of a man who's been ridding our city of rogues and with ease and aplomb. Okay, okay, calm down, Mr. Thesaurus. Jeez. What most piques my curiosity, however, is what sort of blade a man like that must wear. Rumors get around. Yet, yeah, nothing is more valuable than information. Our troubles await the man who does not listen to what he hears these days. Those Ronin seem to have heard- Oh wait, those Ronin seem to have heard of you. I guess you're skilled enough for word to spread too. Not at all, I'm still an amateur. Every day I learn much and more from my students. I ascribe to but one philosophy myself. I believe that fighting should be beautiful physically and mentally. Beautiful, huh? That seems like a difficult luxury to afford in combat. An understandable perspective from a man of your talent. However, can you deny the inherent artistry that exists in a blade? Perhaps you might grace us with your presence at the dojo. It never hurts to freshen one's training, does it? Look at the background. What is that man doing with that cat? That's all I want to find out. <laughs> but I keep getting interrupted. Hmm? Beauty in a fight? The artistry of swords? Maybe I should stop by the school once in a while. Look! What is- what is this? <laughs> what is going on here? That's been going on in the background for the last five minutes. Oh, lucky cat. Oh, great lucky cat. Please accept this gift and grant me good fortune. I offer you a thousand mon. I beg of you. Mind if I ask what's going on? Huh? Oh, you crept up on me there. Sorry, just look to me like you gave your cat money. You gave a cat money. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know? This is no ordinary feline. This is the great lucky cat. The what? It bestows lucky blessings on anyone who leaves it an offering. Hmm. Did he just turn around? Shh! Look! No! Oh. Hi. I thought I'd lost this forever. This is a dear old charm of mine. <laughs> you see? The great lucky cat has shed its benevolence upon me like so much lucky fur. Um, not sure I buy this. What are you talking about? You saw what just happened? Uh, this dude's a scam artist. That's what happened. He told me to look, and then he dropped the thing in front of the cat. Well, it's no matter to me whether you believe in the cat. My humblest gratitude again, once again, great lucky cat. I'll come again. It's not real. It's a scam. 100% a scam.
Should I go down this rabbit hole? <laughs> This cat's supposed to bring you good luck if you offer him money. That guy gave him a thousand mon. I should know better than to believe these kind of tall tales. I wanna see what... I think this is a case where I have to give it money, just... To let the quest kinda... Alright, fine. For memes. Here, a thousand mon. Dude, this tea is still, like, really hot. <laughs> it ran away. <laughs> Great lucky cat, huh? Hmm? Really? Huh? He actually brought me something. White bait. Hmm, maybe you think this is lucky. You want it, huh? Well, it seems happy at least. <laughs> is this for real? Okay. Well, I guess that's, uh, that's a to be continued. We'll find out at some point, uh, if it goes anywhere. Alright, I guess I may as well do the sword training while I'm here. I was expecting that to be a scam, but it might not be. I had an inkling you would come today. Like you said, brushing up on skills can't hurt. I'm interested in what you teach here. And I am so interested in viewing your ability for myself. My students will also find this quite edifying, I'm sure. Allow me to ask, what style of fighting do you favor personally? Uh, I mostly rely on my sword, but I have a sidearm too. When the situation calls for it, sometimes I use both at once. Oh my. I'm most curious to see what that must look like. Forgive my hastiness, but would you mind sparring with some of my apprentices? There would be no better way to inspect your form. If you would, engage them only using your sword to begin with. When I signal you, incorporate your firearm as well. Sure. No problem. Everyone, step back and ready yourselves. Yes, master, please. Sir, hold nothing back. Now have at them. Alright. Hold R2 the moment the attack lands. Oh. Okay, well this is like... A common attack. Swap to Wild Dancer. R2 to shoot while spinning around. <laughs> oh man. It was like a whirlwind of bullets. That's awesome. Again, it's just a pistol. I don't think that's how a pistol works. We don't have guns in Australia, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that's not how they work. I'm pressing up the fuck. Huh? It's not doing it. Dude. 
What is the t what is the t stop? What is the timing on this? I can't get it. L1, I'm pressing L1. There we go. Oh, that's annoying. That's an annoying window. I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm definitely not going to be parrying in this form. It's way too annoying. I'm doing this again. Spin! Spin to win! <laughs> beautiful, absolutely, utterly beautiful. Morning mist. <laughs> That's the name of it. Oh no, maybe it's ghostly wind. I don't know. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, thank you very much, sir. A supremely enlightening pain. You guys are pretty good. I can tell your training has been beneficial. They are quite diligent, though they still course in places. Each one shows tremendous promise. And yet your strength is more impressive than I had imagined. Your technique is studied, though it lacks elegance. I welcome you to train here further, whenever you care to. With time, you may come to embody my vision of a truly beautiful sword. Hmm? You have a different way of looking at battle than I've seen before. I think you're onto something, though. Swordsmanship can be beautiful. It's not a bad idea to practice with that in mind. Indeed. The rigors of combat may have worn on your technique, but your fundamentals are... unimpeachable. If you continue to train here, I guarantee your sword play will gain an impeccable grace. That sounds nice, but a place in a dojo doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Consider this an exception to that rule. I not ask for coin from my students. Rather, I have a fondness for rare swords. In lieu of payment, I would like you to bring me a unique katana. After all, rarities are often the most beautiful of their kind. Funding, finding uncommon swords for you might end up costing you more in the long run. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> worry not, you may keep the blades for your own use. I merely wish to admire them once. Come equipped with a f oh wait. Okay. Alright, I'll come back with something rare. Why did it say topic? I was I got confused because it said topic instead of Ginryu. I'll be waiting with breathless anticipation for you. I don't know if that was a bug or whatever. But, uh, yeah, anyway. It said topic. That was weird. Yes, please. More health. <laughs> okay. Hey, great lucky cat. <laughs> it's true. The other day I offered the great lucky cat 2,000 mon and received a koban in return. A gold koban? It's gotta be worth a rio at least. Maybe 2,000 mon would do the trick. This is stupid. This is this is a, this has to be a scam. Here, 2,000 this time. That better be worth something. Kiryu? It's not. It's Ryoma. Not Kiryu. It's Ryoma. Unique character. He brought something over. Sober capsule? <laughs> A sober capsule? 
Is this some kind of blessing of good health? I suppose that's kind of fortune, but it's hardly a 2,000 mon value. Maybe I'm being ungrateful. The cat made the effort to bring this here. It's trying to enrich me in its own way. It's true, sometimes I do drink too much. This is helpful. Thank you, cat. Wait, so if I go inside a building and come back out, does that mean I can do this again? Hang on, because that's what happened last time. I want to drink my tea, but it's still too hot. It's getting there in temperature. <laughs> I can see a downside to this flask. Look, I have to plan it in advance. Oh yeah, I'm gonna drink tea two hours from now. Recently, I was feeling bold and decided to give the great lucky cat 3,000 mon. It gave me a letter in return. A letter? Does the cat know how to write too? Don't be silly. Some courier probably got careless and dropped it. But the address wasn't too far, so I figured I'd deliver it. <laughs> Turns out the recipient is a total stunner. Plus, she invited me in for tea and cake. She was beautiful. So the great lucky cat offers blessings of love? I gotta give it a try. 3,000 mon for a blessing of love, huh? <laughs> sure, why not? Alright, 3,000 mon. Show me what you can do, cat. What did, it, what did it bring back? He brought something over. Shunga? This is... a sexy woodblock print. I can see the appeal, but this sort of thing is probably more exciting to young boys. Hmm. You sound like an old man. The cat gave this to me because he wants me to feel some passion, I think. I'll keep it around if I ever need to pick me up. Thank you, cat. <laughs> Did I really get that item? I don't think I did. Called seal. Okay, maybe not. I mean, if this all it takes to keep doing this side quest, I want to see where it goes since I have money. I've been fighting so many random bandits lately that I just I have an abundance. Whoops. <laughs> My faith has been truly rewarded this time. The great lucky cat again? Exactly. You see, I was desperate to get closer to that beautiful woman the cat led me to. So I dug deep and made an offering of 5,000 mon. And well, now we're engaged. What? Congratulations. Would 5,000 mon really pay off? 5,000. I'm hoping for a real fortune this time. <laughs> what is this? What is this side story? There's nearly 5,000 mon here. It just brought me back 4,000. That's not as much. Don't meow at me. Ugh, 
Why am I yelling at a cat over the state of my finances? You win some, you lose some. Either way, it's no reason to get mad at a helpless animal. This still isn't what I'd call a profit, but I appreciate the gesture all the same. Thank you, cat. <laughs> I'm going to play this out to the end. Alright, yeah, yeah. I know he's been trying his best, but so far I haven't seen much return on my investment. Since the great lucky cat hasn't failed me yet, I thought it was time to really show my gratitude. I offered a whole Rio. Wow, a Rio. What happened then? Well, not long after, I visited a shrine. There I drew all the fortune strips they had. Every single one read Great Blessing. Well, there you have it. That's the best kind of fortune there is. This is beyond luck. It's divine providence. Just so. I feel as if nothing is outside my reach now. What the hell is this cat capable of? Will I really try giving it a Rio? One Rio, cat. Follow the cat, what could it be doing with the money? Starting a business. This cat runs this town. Hmm, this is different from usual. Does he want me to follow? Wait. Alright, well, I guess we're following the cat. Damn, where'd that cat run off to? <laughs> so I take the money. Hmm. And kick it up to you. <laughs> Quite the villainous scheme. Those two certainly seem shady. Hmm. Mm. There you are. Yeah. Who's there? Hmm. Mm. Shit! How much did you hear? Not much. Sorry, not much is still too much on this one. No witnesses. Kill him! On it. <sighs> I'm really starting to doubt how lucky you are, you know. Oh shit. <laughs> He's too strong. Ah, fine. Take this and let us go. How about that? Five, Rio. Let's move. I just doubled my money. That cat led me straight into a couple of violent criminals. On the other hand, they were easy to take down, and this money more than makes up for the offerings I gave. Huh? Was this really your way of bringing me good fortune? To be honest, it was more roundabout process than I would have liked. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm grateful. Hmm? What is it? Are you trying to tell me you'll make it up to me? <laughs> Alright. What do you say? You come with me and we'll see what kind of luck you bring from now on. Oh. I mean, 
just lucky. I just adopted. I just adopted the cat. This is new. Get the fuck out. Oh. Where, but where? Oh, damn. I thought he would be riding on my shoulder or something. Okay, hang on. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take a taxi. Excuse me, sir. Either kind samurai. Hmm? You mean me? Yes, I'm sorry to be a bother, but you haven't sighted a purse anywhere around here, have you? You lost your purse? Indeed. It's rather small, bright green. Ringing any bells? Hmm, sorry, no. <sighs> As I imagined. I suppose we'll have to do without our side dishes for the next week. That was all the money you had on you? Unfortunately, darn it. I've always been so careless. I nearly reached the greengrocers when I realized I didn't have it with me. My family will be ever so down when they learn the news. Did you lose a lot? Well, some, what enough for a week's worth of side dishes, I'd say. But what's especially troubling is my husband won't be getting paid for his current work for quite some time. Not sure how long it'll be. That does sound rough. I'm sure you wouldn't want to go that long without some solid sides myself. Don't I know it, and it's going to do our figure- It's not going to do our figures any favors. Eating nothing but meat and rice? Only someone could spare any. Who just hands out vegetables in this day and age? I simply don't know what to do. She's definitely in a tight spot, and I do grow vegetables. <laughs> this is so stupid. So long as you're not looking for a whole field's worth of food, I can spare you some. What? Is that so? Yeah. If you don't mind taking the surplus I grow. Oh, I would appreciate any vegetables at all. Thank you so much. Sorry to be a bother. Is she related to the kid that I'm giving vegetables as well? Daikon, because I have plenty of these. Will this do? My, this looks fantastic. I'm already imagining all the dishes I can make with this. Thank you so much, sir. I'm going to whip up something fantastic with this. In the meantime, though, I have this for you. I do look forward to seeing you again and seeing what else you have in store for me. I have formed a bond with Oblivious Woman. Okay, uh, we are going... Wait, where is this? Somewhere else, apparently. Alright, yeah. Please tell me I can drink my tea now. Kind of. <laughs> it's still, like, reserve sips. Hmm? You're covered in mud again. Don't tell me. How clumsy can a cat be? Fine. Should I take it to the bathhouse again? Well, come on then. Is this just... Is this just going to be a stream involving pets? You really are helpless, huh? Don't scratch me, okay? There, there. That's better. <laughs> I love that animation so much. <laughs> it's like a shiny Pokemon. Don't fall in again. Hey boss, back to the house? Okay. <laughs> so funny. That tree? What? What's with the tree? Could this tree be right for the old couple? 
You have a cherry blossom tree? What are you talking about, Uncle Saito? Uh. Haruka, this tree. Is it a cherry blossom tree? Yes. It's been here for a long time, actually. But it doesn't flower anymore. It's dead. Oh, really? Uh-huh. It used to flower when I was little, but I haven't seen a single blossom on it for years. I see. That's a shame. Why? Are you interested in gardening all of a sudden? Yeah. No. Uh, it's just there's this old man who's been looking for a cherry tree. What? Why is he looking for one? So now he... Oh, wait. So now he and his wife have, want to bury their dog beneath a cherry tree. That's so sad. What a horrible story. They've lost both their son and their dog. Yeah. That's why I wanted to do something for them. Hmm. Well, do you think the one in the garden would work? The one in the garden? Yeah, I know it's dead, but I just don't think you're going to find another one where you'll be allowed to bury bones. Use this one. But are you fine with the bones being here, Haruka? Of course. If it'll help the old couple. Alright, I'll go ask the old man. You're a kind girl. Aw, thanks. Alright, so, I mean... I know it's going to happen, but like... I, I, get, I get the gesture. This is going to bloom and it's going to be like a heartfelt moment. But we're effectively using a dead dog as fertilizer. Like, let's be real. <laughs> I came here for another reason. Yeah, he's here, look. <laughs> Careful, pet. You don't look too happy. Are you upset about something? Hungry? Not even a bite. I guess you're full. I think the cat n needs something. I need to purchase, like, uh, toys or, an, like, a... <laughs> Did 1700s Japan have cat towers? Anyone? Any historians in, in the stream? <laughs> uh, let's do some cooking first. Don't think so? Damn it. Oh well. Had to ask. I don't have any other recipes. Anytime I make this, I, I just break the chopping board. Like, is this just a running joke with this? Or am I that bad at it? Like, she's going to eat it and then she'll be like, Oh, but you broke the cutting board again. This is great, Uncle Hashime. Keep it coming. <sighs> Obtained water god stone. Apparently, out of it. Okay, I didn't break it this time. I just can't believe that they have merged like a farming sim with this game. I would play the fuck out of a dedicated, you know, farming sim that involves Kiryu. <laughs> I need to acquire seeds to plant more stuff. Next time I'm in town, I'm gonna do that. 
We need a cat bed. That's what we need. Then we're taking immediate deluxe bed. Okay, what else? Is there anything for the pet? No, that's it. Oh man. That just reminds me of, um... The old, uh... Arg one of the, like, classic internet arguments with that lady that was trying to open a ca cafe in... I think it was Boston, but, like, just went absolutely viral because she was just a megalomaniac and just insane. <laughs> what she was trying to do. Just the horrible conditions and, yeah, uh, unbelievable story, that one. I don't want to be like that lady. I want to give this cat a good home. Petting. In the better no mood now, huh? You must have been lonely. Good. Good. How's my health? Eh, I could do it for a refill. Chat, something just occurred to me. <laughs> okay. Like, this is perfect because it's an epiphany. Just the relaxing bath water. Um, epiphany. I've been trying to drink out of this thermos for maybe the last uh, hour or so. And it kind of just clicks, like... I don't have to drink out of it. Why don't I just get, like, a cup and just pour myself a little bit of tea? And I'm pretty sure that might be the intended way I'm supposed to use this. Instead of just trying to drink out of it. <laughs> I'm still gonna try and drink out of it. But... This makes sense. I mean, I can drink out of it. It's just, it's, it's at a temperature where it's not like I can drink a lot of it. Um, I do have a cup here next to me, thankfully, so hang on. Oh, this is, this is probably the way I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Mm, the water's just right. I've never felt cleaner. Or smarter. Um, let's see if there's anything on... Whoa, camera. I don't think there's anything else. See, I have them, but I have to make it. It's late, I'm not thinking. <laughs> I do appreciate that you're trying to bail me out on that one, but, like... It's okay, listen. It's fine to have these moments as long as you can laugh at them. It's okay. Like, I'll admit it was stupid. You can't be switched on 24-7. You can have very rational and intelligent people uh, fall to stupid things. That's what makes us human. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do now, but I, I'll go see the couple. And, uh... We shall... Oh, you're covered in mud again? 
Don't tell me. How clumsy can a cat be? Fine. Okay. <laughs> well, come on then. Am I going to adopt a second cat? You really are helpless, huh? Don't scratch me, okay? There, there, that's better. <laughs> it's honestly why I do this, it's just that animation though. Don't fall in again. Also, this tea is very good. I was able to drink it now because I poured it into a cup. A plastic cup that took the heat off right away. Um, let's see if there's anywhere that sells seeds. Do you have... I will buy one eggplant, sir. In the words of Pierre from Stardew Valley, don't ask me what it's for. Flower miller? Let me see. General goods store, a bar, green grocer, fish market, general goods store, pawnbroker. I mean, you would think arms dealer, blacksmith, pickled foods, brewery. I want to find somewhere that sells seeds, general goods, pawnbroker, another general goods store. Another arms dealer. I would hope general goods. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing that I can see. Ah, good. Didn't recognize you for a moment. Feared that I had forgotten the face. I don't understand. Do you mean you remember everyone who stops here? Of course, it's my personal philosophy that all my customers be treated with reverence. That's impressive. In this area, you must r receive hundreds of people coming in. <laughs> I deal in all sorts of odds and ends. Even with a thousand patrons, I'll endeavor to recall each name and face. Names and faces, huh? That's pretty as exemplary service. If you can manage it, my name's Saito. Saito-sama, is it? I'll etch it into my memory. Please come again. I might look it up. But I do want to progress the farm. There's another general goods store over here. This is... What's for sale? Yeah, nothing. I guess I'll get one of these. Oh, this is a... Okay, I see. Wrong kind of shop. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Now, why are they armed now? Ah, oh, it stopped me. I want to do my JoJo finishing move. Hey! I'll do it on the last, dude. 
Hey! It cancelled it. There it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna get anything done today, am I? It's just gonna be caring for animals. Okay. I need to find out who sells seeds. Uh, like a dragon Ishin seeds. I want to know where to get seeds. Crops. Right. But how does it work? Oh. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I have my answer. Right. It's not selling it here. It said there'd be fertilizer here. There's no fertilizer here. Okay, well, whatever. Oh boy, it's the crime corner. They're so polite, they wait. Reminds me of fighting games. As as an older sibling, when I would play fighting games, I would use the same move. Stop using that over and over again, it's cheating. Better be afraid. Oh. Oh. oh, shit. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a finisher right there. I'll piss off. I just fought someone. Leave me alone. I had completely forgotten I had leveled that up. There's a crowd here. Hmm, something happening over here? Ah, move along, sir. I'm up to my ears in shenanigans already. Mind if I ask what's going on? 
Two of these men have perpetrated a heinous act. And... What? You don't know which two? Well, see for yourself. <laughs> They're hiding in a group of five. A group of five? Gear has a policy of collective responsibility, as I'm sure you know. Those convicted of crime serve their punishments together. These five reprobates were all assigned to clean the Doshin Station House. That's when an abominable incident took place. What kind of incident? They... My beautiful... They ate my beautiful Daifuku Mochi! I had been saving all morning! The other Doshin were out on patrol, so the only people who had access to our snack room were these five. According to eyewitness testimonies, two of them split it behind the back of the station. I just need to pinpoint those two. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, middle child. I do find it funny. <laughs> I was talking about older sibling tactics. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway. Uh, while performing community service, stolen ate the mochi you were saving for later. Oh, wait. That's the wrong voice. I'm supposed to be talking normally. Yes, it makes you sick just to think about it, doesn't it? I'm attempting to interrogate the group, but their stories contradict. Most likely the two guilty ones are lying in order to thwart my investigation. Wait, I know. Why don't you talk to them instead? What good would that do? To be completely honest, I'm too upset about my Daifuku Mochi to even think straight. I can't perform police work like this. The guilty... Oh, the guilty ones won't come forward and I'm all out of patience. My only remaining option is capital punishment. What? No. But you seem like a smart enough guy. Maybe you could make a more rational decision than I can. Come on, consider it your civic duty. All right. Fine, let me hear what you have to say. <laughs> Great. Okay, talk to them all and let's see what you can make of their stories. All of you, introduce yourselves. Starting from the left. I'm Higashihara. Nishiyama. Nakagawa here. Minamino. Kitajima. I've probably, like, butchered a couple there, but it's fine. There you have it. All right, all of you. Form an orderly line to be questioned by this, uh, deputy or whatever. Okay. This is one of these, like, puzzles. Where two of them are lying, and then you kind of ask them a weird question, and then you find out the truth that way. Okay. Higashara, was it? Higashihara, was it? What can you tell me about the mochi? All I know is that one of the culprits must be Kitajima. I saw him with his hands on the thing, no doubt about it. Fuck, I need to write this down. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh. This just reminds me of, uh... The Anuki village. In Zelda. Alright. Uh, Higa... Shihara. Kitajima is... Okay. Do I want to hear a jerk? I mean, go for it, chat member, but I might not necessarily read it. Depends what it is. I just don't want it to become like a thing where it's, let's just read jokes. Let me hear your testimony, Nishiyama. Only Higashihara and Minamino had to the keys to the snack room. One of them, or both, is here after. All right. Nishiyama says. Uh, Higashihara. 
Okay. Oh, and one of them or both. So according to Nishiyama, the guilty pet uh, includes Higashihara, Minamino, or both. Or if he's lying, neither. Nakagawa, could you tell me what you know? Alright. Nakagawa says... Minamino... Did it, and Nishiyama is innocent. Okay. Minamino, what do you have to tell me? It had to be uh, Nishiyama. His kimono had Daifuku powder on it. Okay. Nishiyama did it. Okay, anything else? Kirajima, do you know about the incident? It's quite a puzzle, isn't it? All I can say is neither... Well, I can say that either Nakagawa or Minamino is guilty. But not both. That's such a weird thing to say. But okay, sure. Okay, Nakagawa or Minamino. Wait. Right? Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure I got this. But not both. Okay. So let's... Let's look at this. Um... Alright. Higashihara says Kitajima has to be one of the guilty. So let's... Dude, <laughs> so let's just, let's ro roll with that thread. Let's say he's telling the truth and this dude's guilty. It would have to mean that what he's saying is incorrect. So what he said was that it's Nakagawa or Minamino, but not both. All right? So the opposite of that is... Okay, hang on. It can't be both. So it would have to be it's either those two. Okay, so hang on. So... If we say he's lying, that means this dude's innocent. And then... It's between Nakagawa and Minamino, but not both. And these two are, like, ratting out each other. Nakagawa says Minamino did it. Minamino says Nishiyama did it. Okay. Maybe there's something... Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two of them must be lying. Solve the mystery. <laughs> I think I got it. Uh. Eh? Who was it? Wait. Go and point to the two men you think are guilty. Okay. Um. Hang on. <laughs> Let me go over the facts again. Just, just to be certain. 
Um, it was... If I follow that thread again, just... Give me a sec. Uh, okay. So if I assume that one, Kitajima, is not telling the truth, I'm doing it in my head. <laughs> Oh man. I used to be good at these sort of things, but I don't I don't think I I got it this time. Hang on. <sighs> There's two that are blaming each other, so it's like one of them has to be lying. Oh wait, the keys to the stock room. I forgot about- shit, I forgot about that statement. Okay, hang on. Hirajima has to be guilty. Higashihara and Minamino had the keys. One of them is guilty, or both. So if you assume- if that is the most true statement... One of them, or both. If we go Higashihara is guilty... That means... He's lying about that. Let's see. That is guilty. The bottom one would be telling the truth. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. If Minamino is lying, then Nishiyama is innocent, which means what Nishiyama is saying is correct. So then the only one is Nakagama. Nakagama says Nishiyama is innocent. So there's two people that vouch for Nishiyama. It's Minamino is one of them. Okay, I think I got it. You have to be one of them. You really think I did it? <laughs> yeah. You stand accused of mochi distamina, Mr. Mina. Okay, um, okay, let me go, let me go through it again. So we can assume Nishiyama's innocent. It's, so he says Higashihara, if we say what Higashihara says, Hirajima said it. If Hirajima is lying... No, yeah, because if Hirajima is lying, what he says about Minamino being guilty is incorrect, but it's the truth. So it would have to be Higashihara. Okay. I'm gonna laugh if I get this wrong. You <laughs> stand accused of Mochi just misdemeanor. Yeah. Culprits are... Nishiyama. Minamino. Wait, no, 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 wait. Nishiyama, not Nishiyama. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I point to the wrong one? Hold on. Higashihara, for fuck's sake. You. <sighs> I almost fuck. Well. Uh. Hold on. There. It's not a very serious pointing face, and then Minamino. Okay. Yes. It was these two who mooched that mochi. Is he right? Are you the ones who stole my Daifuku mochi? Hmm. That's harder than it seems to cook up a story on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> so it really was the both of you. You got us. But hear me out. That Daifuku looked really good. 
how could any man slaving away like we were resist that sort of t t t temptation? I don't believe it. I'm sorry I got you three mixed up in all this, honest. Yeah, sorry guys. Forget it, apology not accepted. Damn right, some things can't be forgiven. N Nishiyama, Nakagawa. Don't get me wrong, it's not like we're sore about getting lined up by this Doshin pig. Then why can't you forgive us? You two can't figure it out? We're mad that you lied to us. Higashihara, Minamino, we're a group of five. We share the good times, we share the bad times. We share the times when you want mochi so bad you'd do anything for it. Nothing else matters as long as we're willing to be honest and help each other out. That's the group of five's code of honor. Nishiyama. I'm sorry, guys. We screwed up. Well, I hope you've learned your lesson. In that case, the group of five is reforged, stronger than ever before. Let's all go get some Daifuku Mochi. Heh, <laughs> now that's a plan, Higashihara Minamino. You're treating us. Hey, now, come on. Wait, but they're walking away from the guy that wanted to... Wait a second! I got distracted by their aura of friendship that I let them all go! Dang it! Look, you showed some serious, impressive deductive skills today, so take this for helping solve the case. God Slayer's Talisman. The rest of you, hold up! You're treating me to a mochi too, you know? Okay. <laughs> I got it right. Okay. Fermented goods. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I've been doing side quests. Nope, I get my promise. Yeah, it's the same dialogue. Okay. Have a potato. Veggie time! Thanks a bunch, mister. Was it good? Yeah, so good. Yeah, it's the same dialogue as before. Okay. Saito san, were you able to find the cherry blossom tree? Uh. I have. There's one in my garden, actually. How about we bury him there? Really? You fine with that? Sure. The only unfortunate thing is the tree is dead, so it won't grow flowers anymore. Mm. It's dead? Well, I think it's still okay. That tree has a lot in common with Kazukichi. It won't bloom in this world, but I'm sure it's covered in blossoms in the next world. <laughs> you just might be right. Let me take you there. Follow me. All right, let's go, darling. Ah. Uh. This should be good. Kazukichi. Thank you. Ah, uh, hush, darling. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, is she crying? What's gotten into you? Oh. Uh, 
There's a petal, but I thought this tree was... It's beautiful. Honey, did you just... So small, yet so beautiful. It's been an eternity since I've heard that laugh. You're right, honey. It's gorgeous. That's the prettiest petal I've ever seen in my entire life. It's as beautiful as your smile, which I don't see enough these days. I'm happy for you both. Thank you. This is more than I could have hoped for. Kazukichi gave this to us. Yes, Kazukichi made the tree flower. Even if just a little. Maybe it's his way of saying thank you to the both of you. That's what I think, at least. Kazukichi. I love you. I have so much to buy. <laughs> ah, but it brought me back here. No, I'm going back to the farm chat. <laughs> or not. Mm. I think we need one more person. You could do it with three, but... Oh. Hmm? Oh! Hey mister, come play with us. Me? Yeah, let's play house. House? Sorry, but no thanks. Besides, I'm sure you'll find someone better to play with. Be safe, alright? Huh? <laughs> huh? Hey! Is this guy making these kids cry? Uh... D don't cry. I'm gonna cry too. What did you expect? Grown-ups are all the same. Man, I hope I never get like that. What did you ex- Oh, wait. Same text. Yeah, but I guess we have no choice. It's really sad. Not good. I made them cry and now they're losing hope, hope in adults too. Ah! Ugh. Children are the future, and it's the adult's job to give them the hope they need to build their dreams. Guess I have a responsibility here. Alright. Go for it. I'm a beginner, by the way, so go easy on me. Sure, we'll go with a simple farming family. He'll be the farmer husband. Nice to meet you. And you'll be the wife, mister. The wife? Yep, you're the wife. Yeah. Uh, shouldn't a girl play that role? Like her? Ah, uh, well, I'm playing the samurai. I see. And I'm the daughter, so you have to play my mom. Got it. I'm the wife. <laughs> then let's get started. Everyone to your places. Hey. All right, and go. <laughs> hey, mister. You're playing the mom. You're supposed to be cooking at home today. Uh, sh sure. Is that how moms talk? I don't think so. More mom-like. Uh, mother will do her best. Hmm, it's not perfect, but fine. Get cooking. This is harder than I thought, but I agreed to do it. I should see it through. Okay, we'll start with mom making dinner. Okay, go. So, I'm supposed to cook, right? I said go! Chop, chop. Chop. I'm hungry, mom. Mom! Mmm, something smells really good. What is it? Hmm, right. Uh, the food. I hadn't thought about that. She's looking at me so innocently. What do I say? 
take out. How do you how do you chop take out? Sukiyaki. Vegetables, potatoes, and tofu. Yeah. We're doing boiled vegetables, simmered potatoes, and tofu. Wow, that's real mom business. I love simmered potatoes. And you even got tofu? That's great. Uh, I'm glad you liked it. I'm home. Dad, welcome back. Mom, Dad's back. Oh, uh, welcome home, darling. Thanks, man. I'm beat. I'm sure you've, uh, had a long day. The food's ready. Oh, good. Let's all sit down, then. Itadakimasu! <laughs> Alright. I'm not reading that. What do I say? I feel like I ought to say something. Maybe I should try talking to my husband. <laughs> it just walks in the door, put down a plate of food. There's silence for 30 seconds. Are you cheating on me? Um, how was work? Obviously. Maybe something a little less heavy. How was your, uh, work? Ah, uh, I got a lot of rice today. I'm pouring myself more tea. How much did you get? Mm, I'd say about two years worth. Wow, that's amazing. Maybe soon we'll all be rich. Uh, yeah. It'll be tofu every day. <laughs> yeah, I love tofu. Seems like it's going well. What's up? It's me, the warrior, here to collect tribute. Oh, welcome, sir. Come on, fork it over. We got a lot of rice today. Here, take it. Don't tell me this is all of it. This is for the Lord, right? What about my tribute? Huh? But I can't give you any more. Just hand it over. You want your kid to die? What the hell? Ah, help, daddy. This is getting kind of real. Uh, please, not my daughter. Fine, take all the rice we have. You should have done that from the start. Don't forget, the law says I can cut you down and get away with it. Scott free. Your lives ain't worth shit. Uh, all that rice gone just like that. Ah, pleasure doing business with you later. Okay, now it's getting too real. This is just pretend. I should deal with the samurai and make this a happy ending. Hey, samurai, hang on. Yeah, what? You're just some peasant's wife. You got a problem with me? First, never underestimate someone's wife. Second, why is a samurai collecting tribute in the first place? The Murauke system says tribute should be made by the whole village. No law states that you gotta collect your own. Say what? Shut, shut up! Shut up! I'll cut you down! You and your whole stupid family! And that law only applies to warriors who've been greatly disgraced. If that's not the case, it's just a crime. There's a good chance your status as a warrior will get revoked. Got that, uh, sweetie? Ah! Whatever, keep your rice. You ain't seen the last of me. What is- what is this? Oh no, did I get too into it? <laughs> Mom, that was amazing. Yeah, that was so cool. We even got to keep our rice. We'll make it through the year, thanks to you. Yeah, let's buy a bunch of mochi and have our own little oshogatsu. Yay, mochi! <laughs> that was one of the best games of house ever. Yeah, I was dying to see what would happen next. You were great, mister. Thanks for playing with us. Let's do it again sometime, okay? Ugh, learning new things really takes it out of you. 
Hmm. This is the girl who played the samurai. You okay? Mister, what you said when we were playing, was all of that true? Hmm? You mean about tribute and cutting people down? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if a samurai would ever do that. Maybe you could try playing the wife next time and change things up. But mister, the samurai who comes to my house, uh, he does that. He's always taking stuff from my mom and dad. What? You're serious? I'd like to see the samurai for myself. Can I meet him? I think he's coming to the house soon. Take me there. What? This is it? Am I a joke to you? You better have money next time. I don't care if you gotta rack up debt or whatever, just do it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sir. Please, but, but, but no more. Mm -hmm. Ah, you got a problem with me? I could gut your wife and your kid if I wanted to. And I'd get away with it too. That what you want? Please, no. Hmm. Then wise up and do as I say. Oi. Hey. Who the hell are you? Oh, I see. The damn brat must have called for help. You think that's any way for a samurai to behave? Shut the hell up. I got no problem running you through right here. <laughs> the, the sound of the slap is so good. <laughs> it's like a firecracker. <laughs> Into the river. He's strong. Hey, you. Yes, sir. I take you've been hitting the other houses as well. No, never. If I hear that you're at it again, you'll be the one who gets cut down. That clear? Ah, uh, uh, as a bell. I'm not going to say eek. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. You saved our family. I was so afraid of what might happen if I defied him or reported him. I had no idea what to do. Well, it's safe to say he's learned his lesson. If he ever comes back, will you come again and help us, mister? Of course. Oh, thank goodness, really, I can't thank you enough. Maybe now we'll have some peace. <laughs> Hopefully you and your friends can come up with a more peaceful story from now on too, huh? Yeah, the family could use a break. Stories? What family? Psst. Don't tell daddy. Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, I really want to get to the, far the farming. I love how almost two hours ago I was like, yeah, let me progress the main quest because there's no side quests I can do right now. So I should progress the main quest. That was almost two hours ago. Have I gone the wrong way? I may have gone the wrong way. Hang on. Hmm. 
This tea is really good. <laughs> Especially now that I can drink it. You know what's great? Drinkable tea. I'm curious about something else. I will go to the farm, but... It's still hot. Yeah, it's still hot. Like, I can't drink it out of the flask, but when I pour it into the cup, it's fine. Let me try again. Hang on. No, see, now it's reached a temperature where I could drink it out of the flask. But it's a good flask. It's a very good flask. It says it can hold it that warm for six hours, so I do believe it now. Mm. Mm, you're pretty calm today. Still have that bone? I didn't see it anywhere. <laughs> so then, did you understand me when I said you have to be quiet? <laughs> Good dog. Alright. I'd say you deserve a reward. Hmm, should go get another bone for him. If I ever go somewhere cold, I can bring it with me. That's true. Why? Why? Like, I can't go anywhere in town. Like, you would think a reputation would build by now. Don't mess with the dude in the blue outfit. He will kick the living fuck out of you. Like, how is reputation not spread at this point? <laughs> you know what just occurred to me? Okay, so it does work that way. I had an orange in my inventory. I don't have one anymore. So I have to buy an orange to use that special attack. <laughs> Mental. Not equipment, hang on. Items. Yeah, the iron... Oh wait, no, because there's those bartering guy. Ugh, alright. What's the sale? Can I grow an orange tree? I don't know, maybe. That'd be good. Okay, give the doggo a bone. Want it? <laughs> He's made a lot of progress. Shouldn't be any trouble for the people around here anymore. Good. Okay, if this is the same as the other place, hold on. Um, I may as well. Lunch set. I need to find out where to redeem. You're welcome. Forgive us if we startled you, sir. We are the Momokawa triplets, as you can see. Huh? And as head chefs, we consider it customary to greet any patron after their first visit. 
head chefs, all three of you? Indeed. Shippoku is, after all, a selection of Japanese, Chinese, and Western cooking. Each of us handles one division. I am the eldest of the three, and I am in charge of our da Japanese cuisine. I am the second eldest, and I am in charge of the Chinese cuisine. And I'm the third eldest, in charge of the Western food. <laughs> I'm the third eldest. Uh, no, no, I, I do believe you mean you're the little one. You're the youngest. The baby sibling. You're the baby! Although I guess there could be more siblings, but still. The baby in the triplets. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. Well, I heard that in the end, the better the, a family fights, the better they get along. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, my older brothers are too clueless to accept that Western cooking is the future. Nonsense. Chinese cuisine will forever stand without peer. Oh, look at me with my Chinese food. A thousand years of history in every bite, please. Impertinent brat. Stop this at once, both of you. We're in front of a customer. A customer who surely agrees that Japanese food is the best. Brother, don't you dare. They really can't argue. Ah, sir, I apologize for such an unseemly display. Yeah. It's alright. If we have any right to ask, please visit our establishment again. Sure. The food was good, anyway. Thank you so much. We're grateful. Come back whenever you're hungry. Okay. I went in here to avoid uh, the fighting. But also I have a feeling that if I do this... Yeah, I mean... It's fine. I was just poking fun. As an older sibling, poking, poking fun of the younger sibling, going... <laughs> saying that they're the, uh, the third oldest in a line of three. Hmm? Hmm? Don't you dare! Oi. Hey. What's going on? Don't touch the doggo. Mm. Oh, it's you. I'm afraid this dog's time has come. No, it hasn't. What? The dog isn't barking. The dog isn't barking anymore. You're still going to put him down? True, it's barking a bit less than before, but the thing is always liable to start up again. I've been coming to see him. I think he's learned to behave himself. Mm. You can't be certain of that. Besides, this is a local concern. It's a life. Even if he's only a dog, you shouldn't take it on some whim. <sighs> oh, sure, everyone acts like they're too good to kill an innocent dog, but I don't see you volunteering to house the thing. Is that what you want? It's all the same to us. Take it or kill it, so long as the flea bag's gone from the neighborhood. <laughs> Not an easy decision, is it? After all, you'd have to feed it, walk it, Simple as it just murder the thing, honestly. What do you say? Want to come live with me? Alright. I'll be taking the dog home. You can all relax. R really? What kind of nutcase adopts a stray dog just so a bunch of strangers won't drown it in a river? Suit yourself! What the fuck is up with this game and murdering dogs? That's that, I guess. What should I call you? <laughs> nightmare. I, I shall call you a nightmare. Wanda. This is Barky. It's fine. It's like. Alright. Let's go home. <laughs> Got a pet dog now. Yeah, <laughs> I did not want that to be two dead dogs in one stream. What the hell? 
I couldn't do anything about the first one. I damn sure as hell wasn't gonna allow it to happen again. They have a cat and a dog and still haven't progressed the story at all today. Ah, shit. I need to wait here a minute. Those are, uh... Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Damn it, couldn't get past. <laughs> like, have you ever backhanded someone so hard that it sounds like a firecracker? <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know why I find it so funny. <laughs> I'm going to backhand it. I'm going to backhand you so hard that it's going to sound like the 4th of July on your face. Can't say you have, or you're missing out. Oh crap, it's this corner. There's always someone here. You're definitely not a fighter. I mean, you don't have to be a fighter to slap someone. Oh no, it's the chatty lady. How many times are we going to have to do this? I can't just leave her like that, though. Can I? Well, come on then. At least this part's getting easier. You're used to it by now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll get you good and clean. Can you really not find some place else to nap? Some place drier, maybe? Don't fall in again. <laughs> I may as well take the cat in as well. God, I mean, at this point, I guess if the option appears. Oh. Do we want to listen to this lady? Huh? Oh, it's you, the man who was kind enough to listen to me. Thanks to your kind ear, I've been in much better spirits. But I have been feeling rather chatty. You do recall the promise you made to me, right? Uh, uh. uh I'm as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear. All right. I'd better think of what I've been meaning to say. I have all sorts of stuff saved up for this moment. Well, 
still, please try to keep it short for my sake. Ah, oh, don't give me that look. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't go on forever. Fine, I promise I won't be too much longer than last time. <laughs> that look of disgust. What would it say about that look? Oh, how about I mix in some helpful life tips? Maybe you'll finally hear something that lines you up. Well, here goes nothing. We're coming up on that time of the best time of the year for food fans, aren't we? Always love a good autumn. The mochi, the sweet potatoes, oh, the veggie tempera is going to be so delicious. My mouth's already watering just thinking about it. Oh, I'd better be careful, I can already feel the pounds packing on. <laughs> oh, we may enjoy the fine harvest at first, but it takes a toll on our wastelands. I especially have to pay attention to that since we've got other shops in town already doing quite a number on my body all too often. What? Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. You me, you men are all alike. I meant the confectionaries. I can't keep myself away from them nowadays. The confectionery is a place that makes and sells sweets, by the way. My favorite one is actually a tea shop that also sells different desserts. All the popular tea shops have them now, since people have love to pair their treats with some warm bitter tea. What a perfect pair. There are even writers out there who try all different shops and publish their opinions on them. Sort of like what I'm doing now. <laughs> First, there's a Taki tea parlor near the barracks. That place is a must go, even if you're not a sweets guy. Their warabi mochi is divine. The amount of kinako powder they put on the mochi is almost mind-boggling. It's almost enough to absorb you entirely when you take on that first bite. And the three-colored dango they make, that's always one of my favorites no matter where I go, I admit. But there's this to die for. They're like little red wine and green, <laughs> like little red, white and green balls of heaven they are. The moment you pop one in your mouth, you'll know what I mean. Alright, so the next store is just as good as Otake is Uji Tea Parlor over in West Umeko Ko I can't read that quickly. Umeko Umeko Jicho. Jeez. The Zensai is delicious. The amount of sugar they put in it is almost lethal. You know it's not good for you, but you can't stop yourself from shoveling it down. There's even a rumor going around that their Zenzai alone is the cause of a not significant weight gain in the city. Can you imagine? And you know what else is amazing from there? The Amazaki. It may not be as sweet as the Zenzai, but it sure makes you feel just as nice. Just when life's ground you to a nub and you're at your most desperate, the sense of Amazaki from the Uji Parlor wafts you away. Then... It's as if your body floats down to the shop on its own, and the moment you taste that delicious brew, you're healed. That's how good it is. I'm not the only one who thinks that either. People say the Yamazaki at Uji Tea Parlor has saved hundreds of lives in the city. What's that look for? You don't believe me? Oh, are you not really a fan of sweets? Yeah, I probably should have figured that already. Well, you should have just said something. Don't worry, I've got plenty of useful tips on the town in me. You still got something useful. I don't really pay attention to the servers at the tea parlors, but I suppose someone like you might have a keen eye for the ladies, eh? 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 I've heard guys around town that say that they repeat customers at certain establishments, all because of a single staff member they're fond of. There is one server girl I know named Sumiri-chan. Oh, she's over at the tea Uji tea parlor too. There's another reason to go. I may be biased since I know her, but she's a cute girl with a great personality and brains to hoot. I'm not lying when I say she's got it all. Plus, girls like that don't usually end up with any fe with many female fans, but not Samiri-chan. Even the girls she works with love her. But I suppose because she'd had bad luck with men, or rather, bad taste in men, all her exes turned out to be criminals, perverts, or both. You don't seem so bad, though. Just a bit grumpy, so why don't you try chatting her up sometime if you haven't met her yet? <laughs> well, I guess uh, I'm good for now. If you'd like to stop for a bit, we'll pick it up next time. You're still not done? Yeesh, don't sound so disappointed. I know I can really go on, but maybe I should be more considerate with how much I talk. Good idea. Okay, okay. Please bear with me. Just one time, I swear. <sighs> Alright. Although maybe I should make sure it'll be worthwhile to speak with you again. Were you really listening to me all the time? Oh. Of course. Really? Because I feel like your eyes were closed for a bit at one point. Did I just imagine that? At least, do you remember what I told you? Yeah. Yeah. For the most part. Then, what order did I list the three colors of the dango at the... Otake teapot? Fuck. <laughs> Dude. I would be able to list the colors, I would not be able to list the order you listed in them, you fucking maniac.
I feel like white was in the middle. I don't know. Was anyone really paying that much attention? I'm gonna... I... just... a hunch. That's right. Okay, I got it right. I'm impressed that you paid such close attention to that little detail. I really didn't. I just remember white being in the middle. <laughs> Wait, isn't that how every place serves their three color Django? Did... did you just guess based on common sense? Oh, no, not at all. I was just listening. All right, then. How about this? UGT Power Specialty, the one that saved hundreds of lives and cure. What is it? Zenzai. Close! Zenzai's one of the specialties, but it's the one that added most life. Blah, 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 blah. It's the Amazaki, got it. Don't forget now, you won't be regretting trying it. Man, I'd like to have a taste of it myself if when I get tired of life. Uh, I suppose it's not that I'm tired of life, I just that I get tired generally so easily nowadays. I suppose it comes with the territory at my age. But having all your muscles get stiff and achy after only a couple days of cold weather or more than an afternoon's work, it's no fun. Getting old's really awful. When I was a kid, I could run around all day, no sweat. It's amazing how children have so much endless energy, right? Like one of my neighbors, this family has a boy who's outside from the crack of dawn until dinner time and he just zooms around all day. I could really use some of that life-saving Amazaki right now. And so long as you use those in the order I told you, then your knives will be cleaner than ever before. They'll look brand spanking new. I'm telling you, you have to try it out. It works on all your dishes too. Bowls, cups, plates, anything. You can thank me later. Can't wait to try it out. Then let's get back to the main topic. Uh, what was the name of my favorite mascot girl in Uji Tipala? Samire. That's right, Samiri-chan, no wonder you were so confident. I suppose you finally did find a topic that interests you. Well, I think that covers it for now. I've got a solid idea on how much you really listened to what I said. Did pretty well. You didn't get everything, but I'm still pretty pleased overall. You must have really put an effort in. Thank you. No problem. I feel great after that conversation. Here, this is for you. I'll be here next time. I'm looking for a conversation, so stop by if you'd like to chat. Next time will be the last, I swear. Please, will you be willing to listen, please? Okay. <sighs> yeah, man, like... How do we feel about that sort of thing? <laughs> um, I, I like to consider myself a pretty polite person, but like... I don't believe in the whole thing where people say, I don't want to hear your life story. I think that's fine. Like, if you're talking about yourself, I'll hear it out. It's more when it comes down to a fact where you hear about multiple people's life stories. <laughs> that's where, oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, that's, yeah, when I sometimes have to be honest and be like, listen, like... Don't want to hear everything. Especially when you cut, like, the conversation is so one-sided. What the fuck is- what the fuck? He's in the stairs. We need to take notes, yeah. I guess I should stop memeing and take notes. Uh, I mean, it's hard with that stuff. Like, you don't want to be an asshole, but at the same time, there are people that, like, just talk like that, and the conversation is so one-sided, and it's not mentally stimulating for you. And I just don't believe in being completely polite when it's like that. It's a rare case. It's it's not like we're talking about pretty much the the extreme of this character here that you know we're talking to.
Particularly when, you know, you try to drop the hint of, like, very short replies and then they still... still keep talking. Or elaborating, or explaining it in further detail, or... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just an asshole. Yeah, it'll do. Pickles. Oh, oh. I want to get these. You sure you want to give me this? Yeah. Of course, you really like a sake, don't you? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, wow. Always making me want to have a drink myself, I gotta say. Hmm? Well, why not then? In fact, have one on me. Oh, no, no, I'm working, but thanks for the offer. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe later. Come back soon. Yeah, I sure will. I need to go inside a building so then it res- oh, damn it. I need a building. Hold on, I'm going to the temple. I'm being chased. Oh, I can do it from here. Kitchen upgrade. Expands your cooking supplies. We are a true chef. There we go. Doghouse. Deluxe doghouse. Ultra deluxe doghouse. Um, oh, there's an ultra deluxe cat bed now. Garlic, yes. <laughs> I can grow garlic. <laughs> More cooking, Mama, I guess. I did check and the game wasn't on sale, so... Oh, right. They're still expecting... <laughs> I haven't progressed the main quest. That has not happened once today. What about an older version of the game? Yeah, it's probably just as bad. Buying retro games is like a very painful thing nowadays. It just depends if it's one of those games that um that people get a lot, because eBay has take advantage of that shit pretty much. Like they'll charge more or less what a new one costs, if not double. It really depends on... Hey. Where's the clumsy cat? What's with the crowd? It must have fallen off the dock. It's lucky to be alive, but goodness, it's dirty. Let me in, that's my cat. Honestly, I was worried about you. Unbelievable. Your clumsiness will be the end of you. Are you listening to me? Alright. There. You look better than ever. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
You sure seem happy. Am I ever going to get you to stop sitting at that dock? Ugh, I'm starting to doubt it. This cat really might be too clumsy to survive on her own. Listen, starting from now, you're going to live with me. I'll take care of you, okay? <laughs> hmm. Sounds good. Please name the filthy cat. <laughs> Snowball. Have a, I have a fucking menagerie. Okay, I'm gonna pour myself more tea. Do I need to get a second cat bed? Doggo! You look like you're in a good mood. Doggo wants to play. What are we doing? Are you ignoring me? Hmm, you look kind of bored. There it is, look at this. This is what I was missing. Ooh. Onion! Oh, I see how this works, okay. Oh, I can rotate it. Okay, well... Onion. Okay, carrots can be done like this. Garlic! Oh, no! <laughs> it's too big. Why does garlic require so much room? I can't grow garlic. Green onion. Bok choy. Alright, I can do bok choy. Okay, this is what I'll do. Is it bad of me to do this? Like, does this bother anyone? It kind of bothers me, to be honest. <laughs> I think what I need to do... Hold on. Let's be let's be normal about this. Okay, um too big. Well, just the pattern that I had, it, it's just it's not it's not neat. Okay, potato. That'll do. Okay, and now we can grow. I think that- I think that's good. And we can expand the h harvesting area. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I reiterate, I would play the absolute crap out of a farming sim set in the Yakuza universe. Oh, look. You made a friend. Yes. <laughs> 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 
You're in a good mood. Hungry? Aw, damn. Don't know how to read those pets yet. Do I need to... Nah, I'm good on, on health. This, this is probably the most interest I've taken in one of the, the side games. It's probably the most interest I've taken in a side game. Because they have them from time to time and they're a bit weird and fun, but I never really go too far with them. This one I feel like I'm, I'm going to pursue. Why is this corner always just... You would think, at this point, they would know me by now. I also have to keep buying fruit. <laughs> This is why I've been able to play all the games in, in the series so far. It's just, I don't know, they put a smile on my face, they really do. And it's just little things, like just the sound of the backhand of your, <laughs> your hand. Just sounding like a firecracker. It's honestly the best time to get into this franchise because we're talking about like 20 years of almost 20 like when did this first come out maybe not 20 maybe 15 years of this franchise and they've all been ported or remastered so you can play the entire franchise to date now on like modern hardware So, I did pick a good time to get into it. I, I think... Never heard of this game. Well, this game is a spin-off, but the franchise is called, uh... Yakuza. So, like, the real... Franchise takes place in... Modern-day Japan, and... It's about, uh, a guy... Who used to be in the Yakuza, and then, you know, he's trying to be a citizen, but then he keeps getting dragged into their shit, pretty much. Like, because he has, uh... He has friends and family that he cares about, so, you know. He's just a guy trying to do the right thing. Which is not what I expected the series to be. I expected it to be something where, you know, you're doing crimes and stuff. Like a GTA, of sorts. But it's not that at all. It's like, this dude is, uh... Like a very virtuous dude. And kind of wants nothing to do with their shit. But the only reason he steps in is just because there's genuine evil happening. Am I gonna play them after this one? I'll go back to it, yeah. Like, I'm up to the... the fifth one, so... I've already played the first... uh... five, technically. Including the prequel. So I'm up to number five. But all of them are on the VODs channel. Mm, 
I honestly didn't know what I was in for, <laughs> but my brother gifted me, um, yeah, the games one Christmas, and he was like, you will 100% be into this series, you need to try it. And he was right. He knows me. Didn't elaborate on why, and then just at a certain point, yeah. I can't believe this. Am I, am I going to progress the main quest? Dude, this is bad. No, this is really... I shouldn't. I should... Ooh, I should just write this up. Because here's the thing. If I start the main quest, usually it takes like two hours. Really? I'm, uh, <laughs> shit. Is my brother playing this game too? I don't know. I haven't asked him about this one, to be honest. He's played the other ones, but I'm not sure if he picked this one up, because this one just got released this year. Like, not too long ago. Like, roughly a month ago. Hello, <laughs> Oh, don't have to read. Good. I can drink my tea. If you want to have like a very brief taste of how those streams were for the first two games, I made highlight videos of two of, of the first two games because they were just that insane and so they are on that uh, highlights channel which i haven't done much with lately <laughs> i think it's titled like the Yakuza Zero experience is the first one, and then the other one's the Yakuza Kiwami experience. <laughs> Wait, where'd they go? Was I not reading? But I, I mean, in my defense, it is one in the morning. <laughs> so. What does it say? Oh, better listen carefully. Shit! Yeah, the irony of that fucking statement. Where did they go? You're getting a tour, better listen carefully. Over here, there he is. Alright, I'm with it. <laughs> Where's Sakai? I'm paying attention. I'm sipping on my tea. Oh man, this pomegranate tea is really good. I didn't put any sugar in it and it's sweet. You got phones in half an hour, hopefully it's quiet. Good luck. We'll see how we go. I don't know how much of this <laughs> I'm gonna see. It's been effectively a farming simulator today.
They haven't used you on phones for all, so you can't complain. I mean... If you don't mind, uh, I guess that's that's fine. But if it's something you don't enjoy and it's like, oh, well, they don't, they don't, uh, make me do something I don't enjoy often, that's like, hmm. I'd be endeavoring to, like, change it to a scenario where it's not annoying. Wait. This is the food stall, right? Or is this just where you get armaments? Yamanami-san-no-atogama-no-saito-san-ni-mo-sono-nin-mo-hikitsui-de-mo-raimasu. Okay. What have you got? They tell me you're the new third division captain, Saito-san, was it? Yes. I'd say you have the look of a leader. My name is Sekino Mantaro. I'm the mission assistant for the third division. Pleasure to serve you, Captain. Please allow me to explain the details of our work. What the fuck? Right, this is the important stuff. The true purpose of the third. If you miss any of what I'm about to explain, sh this is a mini game. Check how to play in the menu to go over it again. Now, without further ado, as you know, the Shinsengumi's stated mission is to maintain the peace in Kyo. You'll be expected to lead your soldiers on missions. For starters, allow me to introduce you to one man of the third division. Hey, Tamurakun, come here. What can I do for you? This here is Captain Saito. I'm sure you've heard of him. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Captain. I'm Tamura Seizo of the 3rd Division. It's great to meet you, sir. The rest of the troops and I will accompany you on your mission in the form of cards. <laughs> what is this? We all have one trooper ability each. Once those are activated, we can assist you in various ways, Captain. Naturally, as we fight alongside you, we'll develop as soldiers and our health and charge speed will increase. The health of your troops gets added to your own during the mission, and the charge speed is the time it takes for us to use our abilities. We're all ready to help you keep peace and cure, Captain. With that, now seems like the best time to explain the operations, of course. Speak to me later if there's anything you need help with. First, select formation. You can now form a squad of up to four troopers. By coordinating the squad with your fighting style, the 3rd Division will offer powerful support to the captain. Next, let's edit your squad. Select troopers. Select the empty corporal slot and choose a trooper to be the corporal from the list. Why don't you have Tamura be the corporal? Wait, where's Tamura? Oh no, select the empty slot and then tomorrow. Okay. Every trooper has corporal traits. Those skills are always in effect which can render them vital to a mission's success. This concludes the explanation on how to use troops. You're leading your troops on missions now. Eating together raises troop morale. Troops with high morale will have an easier time using their abilities. As a leader, keep an eye on morale and treat men to a meal every now and then. Now, let's return to the menu. This is... a lot. The 3rd Division also carries out secret orders given to us directly by the Imperial Court. We must identify... defeatist factions, all... the while exterminating the bandits who use... caves on the outskirts of Kira as their stronghold. Captain, you've been asked... You've been tasked with taking out the bandits in the caves. This mission is top secret and highly dangerous. Even the previous captain, Yaman Yamanami, struggled with it. In fact, this mission is so grueling that some troopers may desert after too many failed attempts. 
I believe it would be wise to seek help of a careful selection. Ask for the help of a careful selection of your available troops, geez. Set out on a mission. Bandit's Cave. As you can see, we'll have many enemies to take care of, but choose to defeat the sword. What the hell is this? Your squad's corporal traits and trooper abilities can enhance Ryoma's skills and allow him to unleash powerful new moves. During battles, your squads will be displayed on the bottom left of the screen. I the trooper's ability by pressing the D-pad while holding L2. Okay. Hold on. Oh, L2. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. What the hell was that? This is one of them fucking Pikachu? I mean, fucking comma Pikachu, not fucking Pikachu. Because that would be bad. <laughs> I'll shut up now. I don't think, like, is one of them a fucking Pokemon? That was probably the better sentence to say. Order your troopers to activate their abilities automatically. I'll activate them myself. This is insane. Some doors within battle dungeons require mechanisms to open. Beyond these doors may lie the path ahead as well as equipment enhancing materials. This has become like a completely different genre now. Mess up stance. I can't. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the sound of that slap. Interesting, uh... An interesting game mode. Oh, I got the wooden bear. One of the bartering dudes wanted that. This has become a dungeon crawler. It's kind of... ridiculous. <laughs> it's, all, it's almost like a Diablo game. I mean, I, I'm fighting stuff and they're dropping loot, like... And I'm triggering skills. <laughs> Shoot, 
But again, like, this is one of these side games, I guess, that I'm not sure I'm gonna do much of. Unless there's a massive incentive. I mean, crafting materials, I guess, is the incentive. Like, I can maybe improve my, my swords and stuff with it. I just can't believe it. <laughs> become a whole different thing now. Huh. And a boss now too. Ha! Elegant hair ointment. That was that was the treasure. When it says treat them to a meal, does it mean... You know what, I'll... I'll see how it works later. Nice. Got him right away. I was drinking too, sorry. I'm done, I'm done! Alright. Did level up six times. I got a new card. Once you're reviewed, exit. Okay. Great work, Captain. You really beat those bandits back. However, stronger foes. Hiding deeper in those caves, so make sure you do not let your guard down. Okay. As for supplementing your numbers, the Shinsen Gumi doesn't recruit openly for these secret missions. You understand. As such, we ask you that you see to bolstering your unit on your own. After recruit people? Yes, sir. You'll find the city wants not for young men aching to battle. Often, they pick fights with pathers by for lack of any better purpose. That said, if you'd rather not be so hands-on, I could search for candidates in your stead, so long as you provide funds. Ah, I see. Additionally, I've been known to track down deserters for your predecessors, Captain Yamanami. They frequent hide out, or they frequently hide out in Mukuragai, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yamanami brought defectors back into the fold? Hmm, he sounds like an unusual man for the Shinsengumi. Well, toward the end, he was really hurting for troops to deal with the bandits. Uh, don't let the deputy chief know about that. Iron code and all. Regardless, I hope by now you can appreciate the need to keep your rank strong. Okay. Alright, got it. I look forward to working with you. Please, let me know if I can be of any further assistance. Toto-san is waiting. I believe that'll be all. Thank you for your time, sir. What? How, excuse me, who is that on the left? And who is that on the right? What do you mean, cat girl? <laughs> what do you mean, anime cat girl? Look at <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this game? You can obtain these elite troopers from the Elite General's Trooper Card Bundle for free. <laughs> what the fuck? You see what- do you see what I mean? It's like, sometimes I have whiplash from this game, going from something serious to something where, like, a literal fucking clown is on your screen. Captain Saito! And you are? I'm with the 8th Division, Captain Toto's troop. Right, so, what did you want? Did Captain share any details with you about another recent deserter? Another one? No, he didn't. I knew it. Come on, Captain. Well, during the mess that was Captain Yamanami's desertion, another trooper in the 3rd Division also made his escape. Ah, 3rd Division, so he would have been one of mine. Yes, sir. His name is Akimoto. And we're not sure where he's gone. The investigation team is still trying to track him down. But as soon as his location is known, you've been ordered to capture him as 3rd Division Captain. Oh, so I'm starting off by cleaning up the last guy's mess. Unfortunately, yes, sir. And Captain Toto was supposed to be the one to inform you, but you see how that went. That's alright, I've got my orders. Find the deserter Akimoto. And I'll return to my duties. Best of luck. Is that just like the bait? You know? If you want to see the anime cat girl, you will pay- you will play this game mode. We know you're curious about what- what she's gonna do. Play- play that mini- mini game. Do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Probably gonna take hours. No. 
方も見てってくださいねダメだ。Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're following me. Oh, this is like a permanent upgrade. I thought this was only in the, that game mode, but no. So I can have. Oh my god. This is insane. Are you telling me that permanent, <laughs> permanently in the corner of my screen, I can have a clown, an anime cat girl, and just, just some burly looking motherfucker? That just seems ridiculous, but I guess it's on point for this series. I was not ready for this. There's <laughs> so many prize tickets. No, we're going here. I'm treating the team to a meal. How do you do this? Hang on. Okay, never mind. Troopers. Views? Trooper? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh man. Going home. Okay. Oh no, it's crime corner. There's got to be a better way to get home so that I'm not mugged. Hang on. Shit. You would think word would get around. Oh. 
Is this for real or is this? I can't. Tourist? Okay. Well, this is something. I think it's time you learn how to behave in public. Oh, you think you're gonna teach me, huh? Just fucking try. I guess this is fine because I don't have to mess around with it too much and it does seem to be something that's just going to be inherent, which is fine. It would be cool if the characters would appear on the screen. Because that would give me incentive to um, get the clown. さん。私ですよ。誰だ。よろしくお<笑> That was uh, kind of busy farming and adopting three animals. So that's what それ あ、そう聞いている。で、秋元ってのはどこだ。祇園の日向屋という店です。のんきに馴染みの女と飲んでいるようで、愚かな奴です。大方今日から逃げ出す前の思い出作りといったところでしょう。なるほどな。わかった。
I turned my back and they're already there waiting for me. I'm taking a- I'm taking a, a taxi. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Got past them. Wait, isn't this... No. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Ow! Hey, are you alright? Oh, damn, back of mine gave out while I was chopping. Ow! Hmm? Well, cutting wood at your age, it's bound to happen. What the hell did you just say to me, boy? I've been chopping since before you were a speck in daddy's eye, and my back's never failed me. Well, now it has. Maybe it's time for you to ask someone to help you out. Like any of the good-for-nothings around here would lift a finger for an old codger like me. You shouldn't give up without trying. People are more willing to help out than you might think. Mm -hmm. Well, how about you then? What? Mm. You look to be in good enough shape. I got an eye for those with chopping potential, and you're one of them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So you spin that whole yarn to me about how helpful folks are, and then leave me standing with my thumb you know where? Hmm. Well, if I don't chop, I don't eat, you know. Fine. Just this once. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Maybe not all you young Bucks are rotten apples, huh? Ah, ah, darn it all, you made me laugh, now my back's out again. Hey, come on. Are you sure you're alright? <laughs> Don't worry about me, you've got logs to split. I'm going to need about 20 or so pieces, so... I know you're wet behind the ears, but just try to get me 20 good chops. Are you kidding? It's a rhythm game. Oh god. <laughs> oh, fuck. I had to fuck it up. Oh shit, it's getting faster. Damn it! <laughs> Almost. Okay, it stopped. Well, you didn't embarrass yourself after all. Here. Hundred mon for each piece. Take it. Yeah, not so bad, boy. Thanks. Appreciate it, but what are you going to do now? You need to rest your back longer than this before you work again. Ah, who knows? This is the only way I have to make a living. And if I can't rely on myself, who have I got to turn to? If only there was someone. Someone capable and trustworthy. Right here. Someone. Willing to help out an old man. An old man with an old back. Fine. If I'm around, I'll chop more wood for you. Wahoo! Yeah, you're too kind. You know where to find me, boy. Whenever you feel like helping out your elder. Until my back's on demand, I'm counting on you to do my chopping. I was not expecting another minigame. 
Yes, please take me to... Wait, I said go to Gion. Dude, just go to Gion. Yeah, main quest is here. All right, we're fine. Hey there, hey there, feeling lonely, pal? Mm -hmm. If you've time, coin, and inclination, this is the place for you. My bawdy house is ripe with cuties. No thanks. Ah, oh, buddy, please just hear me out. This brothel's my life's work. Fine, make it quick. Yes, sir. We opened only recently, so we're not well known yet, but I'm confident our services are second to none. My escorts have curves to die for, and each one's soft and as supple as a baby. Soft and supple? <laughs> yes! Come inside and lose your worries in a bed of lovers with skin like mochi. <laughs> now... If this was any other game, I would say no. But because this is... This is now game number six in this franchise, I know that this is not going to be what it appears to be. And so... I guess I could take a look. Now nah, you're getting it. Follow me to paradise, friend. The quest is called Soft and Supple Chat. Right this way, friend. This place looks pretty dull for a brothel. Perhaps, but that's only because I put all my funds towards what's inside. Now come on in. This is pretty nice, actually. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Our interior decor is the height of modern fashion. Now then, without further ado, why don't I find you a companion for the night? Tell me, pal, which of these three is your type? Someone diligent and tireless. Someone deft at giving pleasure. Someone with a perfect body. I don't know if this is going to affect the outcome. I feel like this one is going to be a meme answer. We'll go diligent and tireless. Diligent and tireless. Great choice. What could be better than a partner who works hard and would do anything to satisfy a client? Do anything? Wait right there and I'll be back with a hot, passionate date for you. Buddy, I'm practically jealous. Give me just a moment. He just plopped down on the spot. <laughs> uh, I saw that. That was great. Anyway. Sorry to keep you waiting. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Here, the pride of our establishment, Okiku-chan. Dasuko, I am Okiku. What the hell's going on here? Huh? Is there a problem? I asked for someone who works tirelessly to satisfy their client. That's a sumo wrestler. Dosukai! Sir, I've given you what you asked for. Okiku-chan trains every night and day. No one else practices so much in our shop. Hell, in our country. And as I told you, his skin is soft as mochi. His skin may be soft, but... But what? I never said that my escorts were women, if that's what you mean. I can't believe I fell for this. I'm going. Stop right there. You still owe me and this beauty for our time. And what's that worth? Well, let me see. Ten Rio should cover things. You're out of your mind. Goodbye. If you won't pay willingly, then we'll take it by force. 
Oi! Come on out, everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> can we just... Can we just appreciate this for a minute? Let's turn this house of pleasure into a house of pain. Dulcicoi! Thumbnail potentially. <laughs> I, I love this game, I really do. Oh, damn it, damn it! <laughs> I just thought us. Fuck. No, but I can't. Ugh. It doesn't autosave. Um. If I had a fruit on me, I'd be able to do the special attack where I shove like an orange down their throat. Oh my god, that would be per <laughs> like be the perfect thumbnail. It's too late. Ugh, damn it. I just have to keep an orange on me at all times. That's what I'm just gonna have to do. I love how my squad's with me. Ugh. You know this wouldn't fly in most other bordellos. Well, maybe you should run a legitimate one instead of trying to scam people. You're right, so from now on, I'll be more forthcoming with clients and keep this place on the up and up. Wait, what do you mean? My establishment is every bit a brothel, I assure you. We wish to cater... To those who fancy men of sumo. There are lots of people out there who like their partners soft and plump, including many samurai like yourself. I see. At any rate, I'm sorry for the confusion. I would love to offer you complimentary night here as an apology. Do sukoi! Uh, did they just say... What did they say? <laughs> I missed it, but... Tonight will be a night of passion. Yeah. I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. Your loss. Here, take this then. Oh, cool. Apologies again. Come back whenever you seek the embrace of something soft and supple. Dosukoi! Okay, no, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> I can I can find the freeze that frame of that. That's like that's uh that's great. Do the main quest? Fuck that. You there, sir, allow me to introduce you to a high class courtesan right this moment. Her name's Anna. Ain't she a looker? Stop by Yamabuki if you'd like to see more. Satisfaction guaranteed. Is this for real? No, it can't be real. Wait, what is this? Oh, no, it's for real. Welcome to Yamabuki. Mr. Samurai, you'll need at least one Ryo if you plan to stay with us. Care to come in and play? <laughs> I know they mean this quite literally. Head all the way to the back, our best girl is sure to please. Now, the rating on this is... It doesn't say nudity, I don't think. Hold on. What the fuck is the box? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just like, um, the chatting. It just says strong violence, there's no nudity. Okay. I think this is just like the hostess, uh, clubs in Yakuza, so. You basically just talk. 
今日はお疲れじゃないですかああ、いや。Let's say I'm a little tired. <laughs> At this present moment. <laughs> the usual amount? What does that mean? Alright. Keep it coming! Let's get fucking hammered! No, no chat. You shouldn't drink excessively. That is irresponsible. And should never be a thing that streamers ever suggest to do. As it is against terms of service. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh no, it is a mini game. R race cup, lower cup, race cup, lower cup, race cup, lower cup. All right. Oh god. Oh no. Why the fuck are we drinking out of this? Like, you would eat ramen out of this fucking thing. What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck? Is this, is this really how it's done? I wasn't mentally prepared for the first one, so I may have fucked this up, but we'll see. <laughs> this is so absurd. <laughs> what is this mini game? <laughs> Ugh, looks like I win. Oh wait, he's reading. It's fine. Hmm. <laughs> now the rules on Twitch state that you're allowed to show this kind of content. Provided you're not constantly going back to it and it becomes the primary purpose of the stream. So, we will see this once. <laughs> oh no, wait, what is this? As the song reaches its end, the timer, press triangle to use the third eye ability. Oh. This is insanity. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing. No, I have to I have to use third eye. Oh my god. Scissors? Alright. <laughs> this is cheating. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an anime bill. <laughs> <laughs> Just slowing down time. Oh, 
初回。天国、地獄、どっちじゃはい。お<笑>お<笑>、これ。ぬぐか、ぬがせるか。平等に公平に決めましょうかい。天国、地獄、どっちじゃはい。よいよ。やりました。ダメ。<笑>はい。It doesn't show anything. So, Kogoroga o r e t a s e Kyoko de Kiria. I kind of want to win chat. Kyoa Okini, Mataki t i k a Form the bond. <laughs> next time. Next time. We'll get him next time. It's not, it's not that I want to win to see nudity, that's not it at all. I just want to win. <laughs> I'll be like, nah, nah, that's it. I'm done. I'm walking out. I, I just wanted to win. That's all. Anyway, next time. Damn, the minigames in, in this entry have been really good. Did you just sniff me? Ha! <laughs> Excuse me. You have the aroma of a bachelor. A man who dines alone each night, having prepared but a single portion, a meal, as they say, for one. What? Are you asking me if I cook for myself? I'm asking you nothing, merely stating a fact. My nose has been honed, you see. I am a chef. All right. Still. It is rare that I detect the scent of another man who works with food. Well, I'm not a professional or anything. I just have a kitchen that I use once in a while. Yes, a man in a kitchen. That's quite rare in this country, you know? That's so. Perhaps. Perhaps you might be the one. Huh? I have something to ask of you. Would you be so kind as to hear me out? What do you want? Once, no need. I have a need to taste the meal cooked by you in your kitchen. Why would you need something like that? I spent years abroad receiving culinary training from many masters of cuisine. Only recently have I returned to Japan, in fact. That's impressive,、uh, but I still don't. Listen, in my absence, the culture of food in this country has changed. Maybe you haven't noticed, but Japan's been going through a lot of change lately. I have no concern for politics. My interest is solely in the philosophy of cooking. And so it pains me to admit that my time elsewhere has left me ignorant of the flavors preferred by modern Japanese diners. I get it. So you want some help getting up to speed? In so many words, yes. But don't you have colleagues you can ask? It's not like I'm an expert in food. No, it has to be you. Home cooked meals from your kitchen. Only those will serve. Why? First, you seem to me in every way an average man. It's vital to know what the average person enjoys. Furthermore, only by fusing what I've learned and what's traditional will I create food that stands the test of time. As of now, the kitchens of Japan are the domain of women. However, 
I believe an era fast approaches where men will join them. And so food cooked by a man like you in a kitchen like yours is the ingredient that I require. I'm um, not sure I follow you, but you just want to try a meal I've made? Exactly. So that I may revolutionize this country's cooking. Hmm. I guess even that one's what... I guess even that's one way to change the country. If all I have to do is give him something I cook, I could pitch in. All right. I don't quite understand how it'll help, but if I make anything at home, I'll bring you some. Will you? My thanks. I already have something, so that's good. Have some. That one, premium. I don't know if there's anything you could learn from this, but here, enjoy. Bon appetit! Ugh, that ASMR. Brilliant! What is this? I feel a swell of strength from deep within. The flavors you've assembled reject orthodoxy and somehow join together united by a common purpose. It's a cooking revolution! That's the only way to describe it. It defies conventional logic. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, considering that it's food. Honestly, I'm puzzled myself. I need to taste it more to understand. You must bring me another dish. What? Another one? Yes. Your food captivated me. For a moment, I felt I was on the cusp of something truly groundbreaking. Well, it might take me some time. But if I make anything else, I'll try to bring you some. That is all I ask. I'll be awaiting your return. Okay. You know where I... <laughs> Kidding. You know where I haven't been. <laughs> oh my god, I keep getting disarmed. I am like fucking Rodonora Zoro from like One Piece. I keep going the wrong fucking way. Okay. おそいですよ、斉藤さん。トロ。なぜここに? これもそう願います。また Alright, let's go. Oh, 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 <laughs> I know that this is all serious story, but I'm still thinking about just some of the stuff we've seen today. Ara, <laughs> なんだ。私に会いに来たんじゃないの <laughs> I can't believe I adopted three animals. 
Like, we've seen, I would say, 40 minutes of serious story. The rest of this has just been farming, adopting animals, and uh, brothels. <laughs> There's been an equal number of brothel content. Oh, man. Alright, well, he found him. I know what, he found us. <笑>誰が行くかってんだ。悪いけど、あんたを切って俺は水木ちゃんと今日を出る。そして、どこか山奥で二人静かに暮らすんだ。覚悟はできてるんだろうな。<笑> I wonder what happens if I go back to the sumo brothel. And yes, I know, I know what just came out of my mouth like that sentence, but <laughs> truly. <laughs> I may have upgraded my fists, uh, more than other stuff. I mean, we don't want to hurt the guy, we got to bring him back. I didn't use my sword! そもそも入隊したのだってコネ使っただけだし、それに嫌ならすぐやめられると思ってたんだよ。お前みたいのがなんで新選組に入ったんだ。そそりゃ、町であんだけ幅利かせてんだから持てるだろうと思って。けど実際入ってみたら行かれた一人ばっかりでさ。もう俺には無理なんだって。頼む。見逃してくれ
そんなんだったらタイは明日にも潰れちまえそんなまともなこと言う人だったんですか斎藤さんって何だとそもそも新選組それにこの今日の町自体がまともじゃないんですよ勤労だってだけで俺らに殺されたり逆にそれを追ってる俺らも殺されたりするような場所なんですここは今日の町いや時代そのものが狂ってるんですよそんなところでまともなことを言っても通用しないでしょ脱走者は死罪その狂ったハットが狂った時代に生きてる俺らをつなぎ止めてくれているってことですじゃあお前はそこまで分かっていてなお殺すというのか殺しますよほらそうやって最後は誰もいなくなればいい<笑>そうなれば世の中も少しは落ち着くってもんじゃないですかねあいやいや今のはただのぼやきですいやー疲れますよね隊長ってのも I thought this dude was a dweeb Oh my His demeanor is like very psychotic 仕事も終わったし俺先に上がりますねじゃあ,あそうだ一つ言い忘れてました斉藤さん真面目そうだから先に言っておきますけどあんまり深く考えない方がいいですよ何をだ裏口にもうちのタイの大使張り付かせてましたから<笑>彼がこっそり裏から逃げてたとしてもどっちにしろ殺されてたって話っす<笑>脱走は許さず<笑>さそれが新選組の掟ですからそれじゃはあ、酔っちゃった。早くフォロー入んなきゃ。<laughs> I mean, the contrast, right? How serious this is. And then what I'm about to do in like five minutes' time. What else is there to do in this town? There's a street vendor. Okay, there's nothing else to do here. Hang on. Hold on. What is the time? It's going. Hang on. <laughs> oh dear. But it's not letting me go here anymore. Oh no, never mind. Just a weird hitbox on that guy that fell. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna have another go at this game. Okay. I'm prepared this time. So-so. <laughs> We've been upgraded. ぼちぼちだ無理はしないでくださいねお体とお命が一番大事ですよああ分かってるそうだお酒でも飲みましょう OK so it's the same every time I was just curious if this was going to be different どれくらい飲まれます I guess this sets how many rounds the minigame has And we just saw a dude get slashed in front of us, so you know. Oh, <laughs> my. 
Alright, I'm ready this time. Okay. I can't... Is this really a thing? Like, they, they drink out of something so massive? I feel like I have to look this up. That thing is insane. It's like you would drink soup out of that thing. Like a family of three would drink soup out of that. I don't understand the UI on the left either. Like, what's what's going on? Like, I don't understand how how it works completely, other than just keep drinking. よし、<laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just have to win twice and then I can cheat. Well, it's not really cheating, it's more super senses. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, how am I losing this badly? It is late. My reaction to the speed's not good. Okay, got one. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. That was insane. It was three. Press the wrong button for a sec. to uh, stray from whatever god you might believe in. <laughs> Shit. What are the rules? Destroy the heart three times to clear the game. And 
help Anna feel right as rain. Love leeches will try to stop you from destroying the heart. What the fuck do you mean, love leeches? A slight touch from the love leeches and Ryoma will lose his will to help Anna, so be very careful. Touch the love leeches four times and it's game over. Destroy the heart while battling or avoiding the leeches to clear the game. In a pinch, using a care bomb will clear the love leeches from the screen. However, this can only be used again after being touched by a love leech. You can also hold down the love beam button to unleash a powerful charge shot. Charge shots can take out multiple love leeches at once. So you'd know when to bust them out. All's fair in love and war, however. So know that your movement speed will be slowed. What the fuck am I reading? Okay, care bomb, care bomb, love beam, love beam. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, that's a love leech. What? What? What the fuck? Oh, that's a love leech. Okay. I see. 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 This is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. He he just moves way too much. Oh fuck this. <laughs> what the <laughs> oh my god, what is this game? <laughs> Alright, well that that's uh that's a to be continued. We're gonna have to come back and try and win that minigame. Dude, I thought all it was going to do was just show like a fade to black, you know? I was not expecting another mini game. I'm just being bombarded with words. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god! Can we please get. Oh my god! A <laughs> dude flew into the ceiling. Hang on. I, I clicked make it a moment, and then I have to edit that later. Dude, his head went through a lantern. I just bumped into him, and it just knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> oh, that killed me. Ha 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 yes, go the wrong way. Get completely disoriented and keep heading back to the brothel, oh yes! Do it! You got to avoid the love leeches if you want to destroy the heart. Use your love beam. But remember, it goes on a cooldown. And then you're going to have to avoid the leeches on your own for 15 seconds. If you get hit three times by the love leech, you won't be able to finish. I should go to bed. <laughs> I should really go to bed. There's another... Oh no, but we're back here. Yeah, okay. We're, we're back in town. Oh, man. Would you believe me if, like... 
that brothel minigame is not the weirdest thing I've seen in this franchise. If you want to see the absolute strangest, just go watch the Yakuza Kiwami highlight video. Highlight video, highlight reel thing. That has the strangest minigame this game, this series has ever, ever shown. Because obviously I'm not going to play that game anytime soon. So I can't exactly demonstrate it, but... Back to serious story. What's going on? いいね。この件は必ず俺ら並ばんたいで片付けるぞ。そうすりゃ、あれだけの賞金だ。金でも女でも好きにできるぜ。何何かあったのか。ああ。斉藤か。てめえには関係ねえ。<笑> I think today's stream of this game has been a perfect encapsulation about what this series is about, to be honest. まさか岡田伊蔵かそうだ土佐勤皇党の大物岡田伊蔵奴はこれまで幕府型の人間を何人も切っている新選組はずっと奴を追っていたそうだったのかその伊蔵が今日鴨川のほとりでうちの大使を
I just barged into him so... So much so that it just yeeted him. <laughs> the Shinsen Gumi is after Izo. He's been out of gambling then. I gotta hurry. Alright. Uh, oh. <laughs> is it, <laughs> are we really going back to the brothel city? Oh boy, prize tickets! <laughs> I kind of want to go back to the sumo brothel. Not gonna lie. I'm sure there's something else there waiting for me. This is surely safe, right? Captain Saito, if you go to the gambling den from this way, the enemies will spot you. Oh. <sighs> what do you mean? Liars! <laughs> uh, the enemies will spot you if you go this way. Go the other way! Go this way, Captain! This way over here! <laughs> I have to wrap this up. I'm, I'm starting to just sound horrendous now. That's a sign that, yeah, I should consider sleep. Midway through that sentence, I, I kind of felt that, oh no, my voice is like, I'm doing almost a golem voice there. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude's fine, it's okay. Just ig ignore the sword that clearly went through his face. てめえも賞金狙いってわけだ。私が呼んだ。この戦力では心もとないからな。ああ。無用の6番隊長が何残しとんねん。てめえなんざ足手まといにしかならんやろが。お前らの足を引っ張る気はない。じじいは引っ込
How, how are you still alive? You should not have survived that. This guy is a psycho. Oh. Oh, again, just, just like, compare this to what I was doing five minutes ago and the tone behind what I was doing five minutes ago. This is why I love this series. I mean, this, this guy is based off Nishikiyama from Yakuza, so... Not surprised. He's got that same smug asshole look on his face. Jeez. タニ三十郎に鈴木道三郎。新選組の隊長も所詮はこの程度。ふん。最強の戦闘集団などと聞いて呆れる。今日は大収穫だ。新選組の隊長を四人も始末できるんだからな。うん。こいつは俺がやる
Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. It's it's this shit again. I I have to upgrade my sword. I have to upgrade my sword. <laughs> Fuck it. Gun is so stupid. Like, unless they have guns, it's just this thing where I just keep doing this and I'll win eventually. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still really hard. I just can't get close to him. I have I have heal items. We're okay. Oh yeah, I have this ability. Oh shit. Oh, oh nice. All right, all right, that, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. That's special move. That's how we do it. Charge up the attack. What was that? I can only imagine how hard this game would be on the other two difficulties. Like, this is just the basic difficulty. Uh-oh. What's this? What is he doing? What is he doing? Yeah, I should probably, uh, yeah. Wait, what is this? An A-print depicting a number of sex positions. It's also used as an amulet to ward off misfortune. Maybe I'll get a closer look when I have some time. <laughs> okay. Now, for those that weren't here, Try and take a guess how I got that item. Now, if your answer was not, I got it from a stray cat, then I don't know what to tell you. But I got it from a stray cat. Who is now my pet cat. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it applies a s- Ooh! It's like a poison, almost. Oh, 
Stay away. Okay, let me let me reiterate that. I got it from a stray cat that I kept giving money to. <laughs> Uh-oh. Cause that's what you do. That got him. <laughs> you know, again, what that depicted at the end there, he shouldn't be getting up from it. Saito. <laughs> おかだ伊蔵。ご講義用心を手にかけた諸行の数々。この道取材は免れん。なぜ この場で切らねば新選組の古剣にかかわる。こいつにはもう抵抗する力はない。ここで切ればまた町で身ぶろと影口を叩かれる。町の人間に反感を買えばこの先、新選組は動きが取りづらくなるぞ。ふん。お前
だが山内陽道は土佐勤王とを潰すつもりなんだ何だとなぜそんなことを土佐勤王とは武智半平太という男に牛耳られていてな最近まで陽道公が江戸にいたのをいいことに藩を思い通りに動かしていたらしい武智の指示で殺しを続けていた伊蔵は陽道公にとって勤王党を弾圧する材料になるつまりこの先 I still believe that the sky well the guy that's supposedly our brother he's the one that is responsible for all this 伊蔵がその拷問で武智の名を吐けば陽道公は堂々と勤王党を潰せるその名手である武智は Like, I bet we're gonna go try and rescue our brother, and then the plot twist is it was him all along. It's not so far fetched given what's happened in the mainline games. But they could subvert expectations. All right, let's hit the brothel. Just kidding. Ah,、uh, I think I think that's the chapter done. Pretty sure. I just want to make sure that I'm going home. Don't you dare leave me alone. I just want to go home. <sighs> Fuck's sake, do I. Oh my god! <laughs> do I really have to get mugged every single fucking corner? I can't take like 40 steps without getting mugged. Go, 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 go! Ah. And yet, like, I just kick their asses. It's not because I'm afraid of them, it's just like. Yes, delay the player. Experience the wonderful world of ancient Japan. Wait, do you think that they're regretting their, their decision? Are, are you fucking kidding me? That was like not even 30 seconds. <laughs> oh shit, I'm fucked. Wait, enter. Uh, I'll pass for now. This is the chicken races. We're not doing any today. I just wanted to avoid. Conflict. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, man, I, I really feel his exhaustion. Oh! The prize machine, spin it.
scrap paper. I wonder if I'll win. Okay. <laughs> I can see why people in town throw these out if this is the result. And this feels like in Tears of the Kingdom where I was talking to the, the gourmet Goron to try and get the special flint. How many fourth prizes do they have? This is rigged. Which, you know what, makes it realistic. If everyone could win the lottery, they would go out of business very quickly. <laughs> Am I really... No, you know what? I, I can't. I can't subject you to this. I can't. No, I'm not gonna sit here for five minutes and potentially get enough. Not even five minutes. Probably longer. I'm most likely going to get nothing. <laughs> oh boy! Prize tickets. I got none of those. Wow. Uh, that, yep. <laughs> it's okay, I think we're at the end of the chapter. What a productive day. Nagogoda, ひにくなもんだ。かつての心配か竹地のこといや。Alright. We get a recap and then the intro to the story for the next chapter. Taicho
岡田伊蔵との対峙につながってしまう正体を明かすことのできない龍馬は斎藤をはじめとして伊蔵を倒すしかしそれが武智半平太を追い詰める結果を招いてしまうのだったかつての友に危機が迫る中龍馬の新選組潜入は続く I still think it was the brother that did it. <laughs> I'm pretty convinced. What is this? Interrogation chamber. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> やめてくれ。金能の獅子ってのはみんないい声で泣くな。やめてくれ。もう全部喋ったじゃねえか。ああ。知ってるよ。いよいよだな。いよいよ今夜。<笑><笑><笑> 新選組の名を天下に轟かすなあ局長かお The guy that never appears to the meetings and everyone thinks is dead OK あれなんだか頭数が減りましたね<笑>鈴木と谷のことかあいつら敵に人たちでやられたらしいじゃねえかたくだらしねえ相手はあの人切り遺贈だった仕方あるまいそういや鈴木三木三郎って確か伊藤三郎の口利きで隊長に抜擢したんじゃなかったかはっ<笑>こいつは伊藤一派にとっちゃ一大事だあと伊藤派で残ってんな平助だけかいやだな俺は昔伊藤さんに兵法を習っただけですよこれでも司令官以来の近藤派なんですからだがよ伊藤さんを局長に紹介したのはおめえじゃなかったか伊藤さんが新選組に乗っ取った赤月には副長くらいにはしてもらえんだろういい加減にしろサムスケ新選組に派閥はない<笑>局長以下 I'm laughing at、uh, I mean I can't remember his name but you know Majima equivalent just sitting there in a blood stained robe like probably hasn't washed at once あるござんした副長様ひじかた副長のおっしゃる通りですどの流派だのどの道場出身だのは関係ない当然司令官出身の人間だけが優遇されるわけでもないそれが新選組という組織のありようだですよね副長無論だもういい加減 Those two absolutely fucking hate each other <laughs> You can see it 私のように人中報告のため新選組に入った人間には司令官だの伊藤派だのそういった浮ついた話は飽き飽きだ。相変わらず硬いね、松原は。私は金納を歌い、今日の町で暴れ回る長州や薩摩の獅子たちが許せないだけなのです。副長、どうか本題に。噂によれば、長州の息のかかった男を捕まえたと聞きましたが。ああ、君たちに集まってもらったのは他でもない。今夜、新選組や歴史にその名を刻む。心して聞いてもらいたい。昨夜、観察の山崎が、とある金納獅子の密偵を捕まえた。名前は、古高俊太郎
実はこの男のねぐらから大量の火薬が発見された大量の火薬やとねそんなもん何に使う気それを吐かせるために古高を一晩拷問にかけたそして白状したところ勤労志士40名による大規模な計画が発覚した何なんやその計画っちゅうは御所放火連中は大量の火薬で帝の追わす御所を焼き払おうとしていたのだ御所ほんまなんかその話ちょっとちょっと待ってくださいよでもそれっておかしくないですか勤労って言ったら帝を敬ってる人たちのことでしょなのになんで御所を焼き払わなきゃならないんですか御所に火をつければ京都を守る幕府の役人が集まってくる我々新選組もだそれを一気に皆殺しにする気だったらしいなら狙いはわしらっちゅう A kid's a I have to remember that name <笑>おもろそうな話になってきてないかいや奴らの真の狙いは我々ではないむしろその先 Doesn't I doubt he's gonna do something just ridiculous at some point? Mikado? Uban? Yatsura no Nerai wa Mikado ten irete, Tobak no chokume o dasa se koto datta. Kekke grinchi wa Mikado seji no dogu to shika mite i nai to yu koto ka. Nante koto da? Ne? わしらは何をやればええんやその40人をとっ捕まえて切ればええんかまあそう焦るな実は今観察の山崎に連中の根城を探らせていくおそらく今夜にでも会合を持って計画の練り直しに動き出すはずだから我々新選組は今夜その根城を襲撃するよっしゃ気持ちが乗ってきたで久々に思いっきり暴れられそうやねせやけど40人もの勤労指示相手となるとどう戦ってええもんかわからんのんなもん切って切って切りまくればええやろうがお前はそれでいいせやけど甲州流軍学を極めるわしとしてはもっと無駄のない大将組に狙を絞った戦いをしたいんやそうなんや賞金目当てなだけやろ金がないことにはタイは動かせんからな副長せめて誰が敵なのか名前ぐらい情報はないんですか主犯格は長州の吉田利丸という男のようだがこの計画にはさまざまな藩の人間が関係しているらしく特定が難しい長州では酒井北野土佐藩では永井佐々木中岡とかいう男の名前が出ていたが何だと斎藤どうかしたのかいや別に何でもない No, you didn't. So, Yoshida Toshimaro Toreba, Goshin or Haneagaruto. Ma, so you got on in Naruda Roma. Yosh, Hokani Kitai got to a nina. So, Rija, what does to it all somewhere Yoruma than Shuga Kino Tehazo Kimetok? Shokun wa, so Rima de Tujo Dorin. 我々が普段と違う動きをすれば連中に襲撃を気づかれるからな Setting fire to the palace and kidnapping the emperor, the loyalists are going to extremes. Is Nakaoka really involved in this? He could be in serious danger. I should find him. He's probably at Teradaya. Yeah. Okay.
saving. All right, chat. That's gonna do it for tonight. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Lengthy stream. Jeez. <laughs> uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you have been enjoying the playthrough. And if you have been, consider button clicking for algorithm stuff if you want to support the channel. Uh, thank you to those that have been doing that. It does help out a lot. But uh, yeah, we'll see where this takes us next time. Bye, YouTube.